Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to another live stream. How are you guys doing today? Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit unusual. As today, we're going to be playing forts, but not just forts. I'm going to be building an AI. James asked, for the AI tournaments, I assume? Uh, no, actually, uh, mostly just for fun. The tournaments I'm doing for the AI... Well, I, I've redone it like three times, and I don't have a good idea what I want to do with it, so I'm just gonna play around with things. Maybe I'll find something I like, and then we'll go from there. Uh, but for now, it looks like we're all set up and good to go, so hello one, hello all. Welcome, welcome. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> am I in Florida? Yes, yes I am. It is really rather nice outside right now. Uh, the calm before the storm, as it were. I'm enjoying it. Uh, went out for lunch today. The, uh... It's, I was just driving around the corner. I nearly ran over a turtle. There's a, a turtle just sitting in, in the middle of the road. Um, made sure to get out of the car and bring that guy back to the nearest lake, but that was fun. If only, if only. But alas, let's, you know what, let's do one warm-up match before we jump into the AI. Why no 60 FPS stream? Because my internet can't handle it, and for no other reason. Let's do 3v3 this time. It's been a while since we've done 3v3. Save the turtle? Yeah! It was not happy about being picked up, but you know, it was it was fine. It survived. It didn't get flattened by cars. <laughs> Hello there, Eunice. Welcome, welcome. Alright, how about a... You know, actually... Let's do this differently. Let's do 2v2. And we'll actually play the uh, tournament map. Which is... I forget the name of it outside of tournament map. Hmm. What is the name of it? I'm going to find it. One way or another. Because it is... Here. Here we go. There we go. Excellent. Uh, let's just play Architect, I guess, just to be different. Do, 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 do. Hello there, Sergio. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Around your parts, you get turtles the size of small boulders. Oh, yeah, understandable. Understandable. I've seen some quite large turtles around here as well. You saw the teaser for this Gator NATO. Not very good reviews. Oh, no. Sadness. Well, if it isn't Flynn Shadow, the creator of this map himself. Alright. Let's do it. Mother Nature's annoyed at all the drama right now. Oh no. But have you guys caught up with the latest Twitch drama? Isn't it wild out there? Bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -da, ba -da -dum. Nice to catch me live again. I am glad you enjoy it. Uh, it's uh, it's actually quite nice outside right now, although, uh, although, um, 
it is the calm before the storm. The, uh, the joys of a hurricane is it sucks up all the bad weather. So for the brief period of time before the hurricane actually hits, you get really nice weather. Like it's just beautifully overcast. The temperature's lowered. It's just nice outside. Decently windy, but not like overpowering. Um... Okay. When I'm running this game, uh, I'm running on tea. I've got pomegranate tea, which I guess is technically not tea, but. Irony, placing bets on whether Twitch retracts the new gambling rules. Uh, I have no reason to believe they're going to retract the gambling rules. Like, they've... This is not the first time they've gotten... I'm going to say burned, but... Had issues revolving around the gambling industry. And they've adjusted their gambling rules many a time in the past. I'm not... I'm not, uh... I, I expect this to not... I don't expect them to be adjusting their gambling rules again. But, you know... We may never know. At least not until they do. What map are we playing? This is the map that the AI tournament will be held on. Which I think is terribly appropriate for us to start with. Surely he knows there's a sand back there, right? Like, is he doing like an auto fire thing? I was mildly confused. By the way, uh, knock knock.
right. Worth. Was it though? Solid, maybe. Alright, so we removed that, which is great. I love to see it. How's it going? It's going very well. Let's try to remove this guy before it becomes a problem. Thank you. Take this away. Alright. That's next rip lance lot. Well, I was hoping to use that for the uh, my own plasma laser, but. happened it would seem teammates using it for uh, hopefully a standard cannon it is okay, run this one excellent yes okay then uh, let me engage up here I miss Swing and a miss. <laughs> Just by the title, I can guess I'm in Southeast US. Yes. Yes, I am. Big shock. Please. Do a little bit lower on that. Okay, do this, this. teammate stuff okay all right so at this point i'm pseudo relying on teammate to uh field some uh cannon hits onto the energy shields which is probably not the world i want to live in for a 
multitude of reasons. Uh, so I'm going to start working on that. However, that was a beautiful shot. I'm going to cut that deep. Uh, let's do this, this, this. Yeah, so he's not actually trying to destroy me. He's just trying to delay me because he knows that's what he needs to do. So I'm going to be changing up this a little bit. Okay, like so. We do this, this. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Okay, so we've removed that. Uh, let me start picking away at his everything else here. I can't hit that up top without hitting my teammate. That's going to be a beautiful hit. Uh, I lied. That was not a beautiful hit. Okay, so we should have enough batteries in storage. Eh, let me do this. Just need the energy production. Some super bracing going on here. Love to see it. All right. Nope, I missed. really just got nothing over there. Well, look at that. It's all empty. Okay, well, he's got a cannon up there, so that's good to know. Well, this is devastating. Uh, I'm gonna have to use metal now. Okay. Alright, time to do some damage, yeah? Got a third one. Well, uh oh, I don't have. Everything is a on fire. Stop that. I was going to make a joke about the hurricane, but I think most of them have already made landfall. Hey, why don't you wait till tomorrow? All right. Unfortunately, I no longer have line of sight with my snipers, so I'm having a hard time dealing with this. I don't want to shoot teammate. Okay, it needs to go this way. There it is. He built too big, he collapsed. GG. Okay. Excellent. Well played. Alrighty. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of AI creation. You've been having fun playing cats and critters with the crazy Nidog? Yes. It's good. I've been having fun with it too. Um, bit of noob stomping most of the time, but nevertheless. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to be building... I'm going to be recording an AI today. Uh, favorite. There we go. We're going to be doing it on this map. This is the tournament map. So we'll... Uh, I need to actually go to... Oh yeah, I did, I did it right. Okay. 
We need to go here. We're just going to do unlimited. I'm not going to do unlimited. Eh, we'll do unlimited. Doesn't matter. Hmm. And then, where's the... There it is. Okay. <clears throat> ah, yes. So, all of the AIs that I've been playing around with so far have been abysmal and boring. And not particularly good. I just don't have a good strategy. I've had to restart like five times from scratch because I just have nothing worthwhile. That's kind of my goal today. Just play around, see if I can't get some fun ideas, and then just see what happens. So this is a team deathmatch AI, meaning I need to do two different AIs for these. So we're going to do that. So we select a node here, we bring this down, and do record. Alright, so first off, we're going to get rid of this, add one of these, add this guy here. Basic economy. Um, <clears throat> I think the next thing I probably want to do, at least at this start, is work on getting a extended economy going. So we add a node here. Like so. We go up here. Like. Did it give me over here? Here. Here. And I actually have to connect up here. For it to give me this. Okay. There we go. One and two. <laughs> Mass mortars, snipers. Eh. Uh, Mortars on this map are not particularly effective, especially the way the AI uses them. Get another one of these. Let's do something fun. Not, not like a real strategy. Just something, you know, fun. Uh, let's... I will leave that. Alright, so first off, let's do this. Do -do -do. just to do something wild. Warning, nuclear launch detected. Nuclear launch? Just came here to say hi since I'm at work. I'm having a good day except for the sudden and sharp pain in my chest. Honestly better than my back pain the last two days. I am doing better now, winking face. That, I mean... You know, good day is good. Glad you're having a good day. Sharp and sudden pain in your chest, never exciting. Uh... Thank you, Gunner, coming in with the support, the nuclear launch. Glad you're having a good time out there. Even if it's a little concerning, though. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. Slaying two nodes next to each other will break the AI. Oh, yeah, that's right, because it'll... Oh, I keep forgetting to do that. I always have to... Well, we'll see what it looks like. Do this. This is probably already unsustainable because the AI does wild and ridiculous things with snipers. 
Not to mention that the whole cheese bit of it. Cheese vulnerability. Why? Okay. Beautiful. Wouldn't have it any other way. Okay. So, I'm going to let this finish. And then we'll just see how long it takes to destroy the other bases. Uh, assuming it even makes it this far and doesn't just... AI doesn't just break, which is possible. Alright, so that will finish for now. Uh, let's do this. There we go. Now we'll finish. Alright, so we'll just roll with that, see how long it takes to actually break a core, if it does. Uh, let's do... Favorite, 2v2, AI tournaments. Oh, wait, I'm going to need to remove my other AIs that I'm not using. Give me a moment before I have a meltdown with like seven AIs just trying to fight for the one. Why is my Steam dying? Stop it, Steam. I just want to open game folder. Thank you. Give me a moment to go purging. Which one is that saved as? Date modified. That one. Okay. There we go. Purge the other AIs. And then we actually load this up. All right, so we want just ultra hard AI and observer tools, and then put this onto nope uh, me onto a team observer onto hard, and we just see what happens. So this will do the AI thing. Uh, we can see the resources. These don't have an AI, so they will not do anything. Uh, this is just for me to see how long it takes them to actually destroy the bases with the AP snipers. Commanders, I don't care. I probably should go. Just to get at the correct settings. Yeah. Just so it doesn't do something like, oh, this is a buster sniper now, or an eagle eye sniper now, which could really throw things off. Gone up to five mines. <laughs> Be a good idea to uh, force enable ultra hard observer tools just in the map so you don't have to add them every time. That's actually a great idea. Uh, let me do that right now. <sighs> hmm. 
this sniping begins. I should probably zoom in, uh, zoom in a little bit. That's fine. this sniping it commences good thing snipers don't really cost metal to fire because oof. why not sell the armor because that requires me to care about the longevity of this ai story the uh, the mandatory the uh, included mod list already includes observer tools and uh, um, ultra hard AI it's just commented out I'm sitting here just ignoring the commented line as if it's not meaningful information. snipers be they come the snipers are swinging quite a lot I mean you've got a lot of 50 caliber projectiles coming out of those suckers you know I'm just happy this thing is able to actually build and fire the AP snipers without running out of money I am surprised I am very much so surprised. Usually my first attempt at uh, building an AP sniper AI just results in the thing running out of money because it built too many AP snipers. And then it softlocks itself. Then once there are no more machine guns for the snipers to shoot at, they shoot at the core which is expensive, because AP snipers hitting metal doesn't do much damage, but it does some damage, and that's more than nothing. And more than nothing adds up a lot when you fire a lot of snipers. Oh, the metal has broken. You know what that means. Core damage. Is it really going to break both bases almost immediately at the same time? Yeah, yes. Yes, it is. Okay. <clears throat> that took six minutes, which is a lot faster than I expected. Like, way faster than I expected. Obviously, not something that's going to be super effective, but... Hmm. Alright. So, just to make sure... I've got this right. I didn't break something. Yeah, okay. Alright, um... So that's that. Uh, let's do the other one. Let's do the same thing. Because, well, let's, let's do the other one a little bit more sophisticated. So... I'll leave it there. 
I, I missed the missed one. I should I should also add the uh, fixed. the AI fix to it. Yeah. Just so I don't have to think about it. Uh, let me actually do that while I'm thinking about it. Uh, so let's see, what's the AI fix? Oh, right, it's not public because it's not... Never mind. Okay. Alright, so I want to do the same thing here. So we select this one. Board. We do this, we do this. Uh, I think I want to handle this a little bit differently. Instead of going outright, uh, I, th I think they fixed the turbines being targeted 100% of the time. So we're going to do this. Instead of going outright exposed snipers, we're actually going to play with it a little bit. By that, I mean, we're going to do some tiny doors. So we'll go with this option for tiny doors. Everything is on fire. Everything is always on fire. Old McDonald built a robot and it became sentient. A, I, A, I, O. <laughs> <laughs> Old McDonald built a robot and it became sentient. AI, AI, who? Alright, so now we've got a tiny duo on this thing. And I'll be re repeating this ad nauseum. After getting another turbine layer. I don't like building long braces like that in AIs, anything AI related. Okay. Turbine, turbine layer. more. And then go up one higher, up one level. Okay. The sniper AI is always fun. This is this is just something I like to do when I'm building an AI and I get bored and don't know what to do. It's just a good time all around. I need inspiration. This is something you don't do in a tournament AI. Because it's uh, ineffective. 
greatly ineffective. But it is fun. And it's fun to watch. That's gonna... That's gonna cause the AI to have a meltdown. Generally, anything small door runs the risk of just soft locking the AI. Like it's it's a pretty substantial risk. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll go forward here as well. Like, this is already pushing it. Okay. So, from here I do this one a little bit differently. this we probably already went overboard with it because it this might soft lock itself <sighs> body's going straight into AP sniper rush yes So, let's see how that works out. Maybe 2v2s, like this. Disa disable commander. Uh, to observer, hard, hard. All right. So I'm expecting pre-six minute destruction of both bases here. I'm also kind of expecting the bottom one to soft lock because I may have gotten a little carried away with the snipers. Well, uh, we'll see. <laughs> Terraria is never going to have a last update. I did see the jokes about that. I, I don't know if there is or is not going to be more content and such. Uh, for the record, I, I did go back and play some more Terraria off-stream. Uh, I have beaten Empress of Light, and I have beaten the Moon Lord. Um, there were still some more things I wanted to do, because we, we still haven't beaten, like, actually gotten to Wave 20 of the, uh, the Christmas event. Um... So that's a thing. Uh, Empress of Light also, we got drops that were not for any of our players' kits. So Terraria, Terraria got new content today. Well, I missed that. Um, oh my god, it's got an update right now. I haven't updated yet. Well... Okay. I like how it's called Labor of Love Update. That's 
that's just amazing. Okay. And they've got plushies. <sighs> okay. Well, that's just a lot. God, they let you craft from the void bag now. It just counts as inventory slots. Also, oh, jeez. Oh, there's so much stuff. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna have to restart the game and play it all over again. Okay. So, this is just making me want to play with friends more. As the AP snipers from everywhere are starting to cause problems. Jeez. <laughs> Doing a... You're also participating in the tournament when a, and you've built a few test AIs. I mean, sure. Uh, yeah, just post it in the Discord. I can throw it up there, see what happens. Uh, I can... I'm sure your, your AI will already have the ability to wipe out anything I've got going here. Not even including this happening. Which is going to softlock the top AI. Pretty hard, actually. It's just something we'll have to consider. I like how this one barely has any AP snipers and it's already breaking metal just with the normal snipers hitting that same spot over and over and over again. That's just how this works. I'm gonna have to test it real quick. I just, I mean, I, I just, I don't have a second AI. I can just mirror this AI and I can just watch this AI duke it out with itself, but like. Not even smart enough to not shoot teammates. Yeah, no, the AI is not particularly smart. Have you ever tried to train two AIs against each other? Uh, so these are not learning AIs. Um, in order to implement a learning AI system, that would require... The interface to do a learning AI system doesn't really exist. Um, it's all... Forts is... I mean, this is all written in Lua, so it's possible to do. But... It's really rather, um, not good. Uh, like, it, it's really difficult to make that happen. So we require, like, hacking into the game and fundamentally rewriting the way the thing works. Which is not great. Um... I mean, I guess it's technically possible, it's just not something I'm super keen to do just to have the option to enable AI right. Just think about it, even the even learning AIs in a game like this are not suited. This is not like StarCraft where you can... It's not like StarCraft where you have grid spaces that you can decide, oh, this is the best place for this building based on millions of iterations. This is very much so a, uh, a continuous 
game where there's a effectively infinite amount of things you can you can do in just placing a single brace. It's like, mm. uh, learning AIs don't like that at all. I would have to write constraints to them like, oh, the AI is only allowed to build on specifically grid crossing nodes, uh, grid crossing spaces, which defeats a lot of the purpose of it. So like, meh. There's, there's, it's a lot more complicated than just apply learning AI to it. The setup is unreal. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, did you post the AI in the Discord? Hmm. Uh, not yet is the answer. Okay, uh, so let's go... So what other ideas do I have here? <laughs> there are more than one, just one kind of learning AI. General AI is, it sounds like what I'm talking about, and it's only just one of them. Also, the data set training AI are the first... Well, I mean, yes, yes. The problem is a lot of other options really don't fit well in this. So, here, we'll, we'll load up the, uh, the sandbox in the appropriate setting. Yeah, tournaments, favorites, so yeah, recording fix. Okay, so AI starts. What's the first thing it should do? Like the AI doesn't really know what to do at the beginning. Does it do this? 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 Repeat ad nauseum for about every node here and then every different type of structure and then for all of these. And yes, there are different methodologies of going about it. I'm trying to give it a metric to say, oh, this is a good thing or this is a bad thing, work toward that, is not something that can be defined before the AI is started. It's... I could, this is a n nightmare experience of trying to build appropriate directions and constraints to work with in this thing. It's like... Oh, I don't even... I... I hesitate to find a... Like, even th having thought about it for a while, I, I can't, I've not been able to think about something that is worth trying to do here. Like, it's the building system and the way that the fort interacts with the physics is what makes it grossly complicated. And I don't, I don't know how to work around that. So, I just don't, is the answer. And it's, it's a little bit different to work with. Oof. Fuzzy logic of the variable floating points. So most of those instances, like, uh, what's a good example of that? Um, an AI that runs, I don't know, in like scrap mechanic, an AI that does some hovering, like auto, auto adjusting hovering, or in something like, uh, from the depths, which does, uh, kinetic or artillery trajectories and movements. It's possible to do that there but there is a very easily understandable uh metric by which you want to optimize for for something like doing basically a gyro system in scrap mechanic you say okay uh grab sensor make the make this thing point upward go and then let the ai figure it out what's the best way to do that 
there is no such thing here. I don't know if this it I don't know if this is better than this, and the only way to know is to have I can't even tell you how many different possible iterations. And the, the difference is going to come into not even going to come into play until later on. Like, it's not like there's something that can... There is no metric by which you can gauge punishment or reward other than victory and defeat. And attempting to optimize or gauge or move toward lesser outcomes results in extremely strange issues. Um, it's really rather unfortunate, and I don't know how to work around that, is the thing. Again, if I were to limit it to you're only allowed to, to work off of these grid nodes, it could be possible to do that. Because that's, you know, a rather limited set of things it could do. But then, you're really very uh, limited on what you can do. And it's not great. And isn't quite self-defeating. It's just not good. As a lot of the things that make, especially at high-level play, uh, forts very strong, is the ability to get away with some... I'm going to describe it as jank, although jank isn't the right word for it or the right descriptor. So it's like, oh no, somebody built a sandbag defense and is shooting through a quarter tile gap. It defeats anything else because that's how that works because you specialize this shoot at one specific part of the base and now the AI just loses every time because that's how that do. So like, giving it a, such a heavy restriction to make it reasonable for the AI to have a predictable or functional system doesn't make a doesn't create an environment where the AI is actually capable of meaningfully learning so I don't have a good solution to that so instead we do recordings and just have the AI run all the stuff in the background if I will say this, if anyone finds a good way of going about that, I will happily work toward that. I just don't want to start working on what is effectively hacking and like recoding forts just to have uh, ostensibly nothing to show for it. But alas. Okay, uh, so we have a post in the Discord. And it's already converted to Team 2, that's convenient. Did you download? No. Why well, you no know download? How heavy is the hurricane hitting me? Oh, right now it's not. Uh, we're just getting the outer bands of it. Which means it's very nice and pretty outside. Uh, the bands are kind of cool because it's the calm before the storm. So it's just overcast and mildly windy. <laughs> you have a history with AI and you do simulation work for a living. So you get that it wouldn't be easy without access to the code base. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, I'm not going to recreate forts just to have that happen. I would have to get into the, into the code of it. Which I wonder if the developers would let me do. That, that might be... That might be... Um, might be something that they'd be willing to do, if only because it'd be fun and cool. But I'd have to ask and say, hey, can I get the decompiled code just so I can play around with things? The uh, solid maybe. Doubt it, but solid maybe. The, uh, <laughs> the, um, the, the, I would, I, I promise you, I would love to have a proper learning AI that I could have tested out there and do things. Oh, God. He's doing the same thing. Of course he's doing the same thing. Everyone does this. Everyone does this. 
all the it's every time. It's it's always this this right here. This is why this is why this strategy never works because everyone does it and everyone builds against it because everyone does this because it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yes, this is this is actually quite capable of dealing devastating damage if you don't build around it. And this is why you always start every AI with one doored sniper or your proper defenses. It will actually break the base. Soft lock your AI and do things. Oh jeez. This is funny. So I'm 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 guessing this is about full build. Uh this one is soft locked now. This one is not soft locked, but it isn't building anymore, so I assume it's full build. Uh, which, to be fair, is fine. Is scatter shot? No, it's not scatter shot. You say AI is that? Uh, it goes by Finn Hyman on uh, on YouTube. I I don't. Uh, it, it's Finn. You can check the Discord server. Let's see, you posted it. This is obviously not his final form AI, but... Just testing, as it were. But yes, th this is devastating. This is, uh... This is what ha usually happens. At least once. Yeah, this one is fun. This one, this one is fun. I, you see, every time, everyone does this. Everyone does this. Warning. And it's worth it every detected. time. Oh no. Ah, oh, jeez. Hey there, Logan, dude. Welcome, welcome. Mm. You're getting some winded rain where you are. Video. Yeah. Thanks for everything. Stay safe. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, uh, it's it's looking like the storm is actually shaping up to be dangerous, which is saddening. But hey, you know, I'm ready for it, so like, it is what it is. I already rescued a turtle from the woes of the road because it was wandering across the giant puddle. All right. So, what do I want to do here with this? This is the thing. I am just completely out of ideas, and every time I'm just ending up just going around doing different meme strats. Played around with trying to make the thing tier 3 for a while, which is still not outside of the realm of my understanding how to make the thing do. Um. What strategy do I want? My thing is, for the, a lot of these AI maps, generally it's decided within the first couple minutes. It's very, very rare that you get an AI to stabilize and actually... So here, here's my train of thinking. It's very rare that you get an AI that stabilizes and actually goes out and survives long enough to get heavy weapons on the field. So the reality is there's just so many things you can do combined with so many things that can go wrong that having expecting to survive five minutes without the game being decided it's just not a thing if you go with an extraordinarily risky and greedy build that brings it down your you know your canada clock timing down to quicker like you know 420 or something which you've also done is made your base uh, just easy to knock over with any amount of pressure before 420. Which is... A quick way to guarantee that you lose. So I don't have any particular interest in going for heavy weapons tech. Which leaves us with... 
Anything below heavy weapons tech, things like EMP rockets, flak, smoke bombs, swarm missiles, buzz saws, mortars, snipers, and machine guns. Now, if we're limiting ourselves to those, that presents some additional problems. One, swarm missiles don't work on this map. Uh, with the exception of, I think maybe you can get a swarm missile up here. Let me... Actually, can I just slap this on here? Maybe you can get a swarm missile here. Um, but, alright, so the weapons that we have to play with are these early game weapons. That's just like, strategic, strategy-wise, that's about the best you can get. So otherwise, you're getting into some incredibly risky territory. We have seen some successful, like, howitzer builds. But it's just so risky. Um... That's usually where mortars come in, because mortars are just the best DPS weapon before before uh, cannons. Like, raw DPS. Of course, mortars have their own problems, and it, there's a reason why mortars have been uh, the undefeated kings of AI tournaments, you know, before this one. Uh, mortars technically not banned, but effectively banned by the shape of the map. So, like, we're not going to see that here. You can get a Swarm Missile here. This could be important. If you turn this into a nuke. So, without mortars on the field, the options people have to win the game are snipers, buzzsaws, Swarm Missiles, rockets. Rockets need anti-air. You can use anti-air to, to defend against rockets. Snipers also work pretty well versus rockets. Generally speaking, we don't see rockets in AI maps because they have the tendency to self-destruct. And, like, often. Um... Can you make an AI that starts on the low curve to suppress the enemy and then ramp up? Yes. Yes. And usually that results in soft locking. Often that results soft in soft locking your opponent. Which is effectively a win condition. Um, so rockets, I think I'm just going to not use because at the end of the day you've just got like a 50% chance of them self detonating. Which is just game ending for you. So that leaves us with flak, smoke bombs, swarm missiles, buzz saws, and snipers. Is sniper spam actually gonna be not a meme? Like, is that. Is that actually the world we're living in right now? Is that actually the world we're living in right now? Alright, so the buzz saw the problem with the buzz saws is that buzz saws target the AI only ever targets um destruct like weapons and it weapons and uh, devices. So for for t t t just technically, the AI is omniscient, it knows everything. So it knows there's a machine gun here, it knows there's a a uh, metal storage here. Knows his battery here, and with its weapons, it only ever shoots at said devices. So it will shoot at this. It will shoot at the core. It will shoot at the storages. So if there is a metal brace in front of it, then the buzz saw does nothing because it bounces off metal bracing. So generally speaking, people will just put metal braces in front and be done with it. Because you don't have to worry about it. And then if they do something like, Oh no, I'm building this giant connection over to this area over here. 
It would be a shame if the AI never shot at it because I never built any devices here. So this will never get buzzsawed here. Despite being incredibly vulnerable to it. It will never get buzzsawed because there's no devices there. So the AI, just, AI will never shoot at it. So you end up with buzzsaws that do nothing. And then, especially because buzzsaws have quite a long firing time, they have the tendency to get sniped. And they're expensive to upkeep because you have to rebuild them every three shots. So, like... I don't... Th that's not a weapon we can use. Gener that's, that's why we don't see the weapon used in AI matches. That leaves us with shotguns, swarm missiles, and snipers. I guess miniguns. Snipers are just so easy to counter. Like, everyone's had so much practice countering them. Miniguns at this range are not great at all. Um... Snipers and swarm missiles. We get one swarm missile launcher. That's all we get. That that limits us down to swarm missiles and snipers, and snipers are easy to counter. Oh. This might actually be a tournament where we go, like how it's a rush. Without mortars being here to cause problems, the only thing we have to worry about really is snipers. If we have, if we can test snipers of our own, we put a lot of pressure on any kind of rocket user. And the reality is we don't have to defend against the rocket user, we just have to not die long enough for them to self-destruct. We can get two swarms on this map. Um... Alright, uh, I think I'm just going to have to just start building it and see what happens. We either, we're going to have to do defensive play so that we deal, we deal with snipers. And then either two swarms or how it's a rush. This cannon rush would work too, but how it's a rush is probably a little stronger. Um. Okay, well, that's a, that is an option. So I think those are probably going to be our options here. Lasers, no. Lasers are suicide. Uh, lasers have a long firing time, so snipers... Snipers are just an om omnipresent and omniscient threat. They're an existential threat to, uh, to anything with a long firing time, like rockets and buzz saws and lasers so we don't we don't touch lasers howitzers are just good howitzers do have howitzers do have the issue of um of being prone to self-destruction but like they hit very hard Alright, well, let's... 
All right, so let me play around this a little bit. And one fits here. Yeah. Uh, one fits here. So if we do this, we're going to have to do this, this, here. Because that's going to be needed to do a rigid. I guess it's not going to be needed. Like so. This is going to need to be covered. A lot. And then defended. A lot. Alright, so this guy... Like so. Alright, so we can't move this, so that just has to live there, like so. Um, and then next, we just start sniping. See what the angles are for this. Before you guys start yelling, I'm aware that this defense is not buzzsaw proof from the AI. I do not currently care at this point in time. It's just here playing around with it. Hello there, Mandalorian. Welcome. <sighs> okay. Need other AI to torture people with? Yes. Well, I think more accurately, I'm just playing around with ideas. So I've been trying to build an AI for a couple of days now, and it's... I am completely out of ideas as to what to do. It's just like... Restrictive nightmare. So... I figured I would just do some on stream for, so I could get my brain thinking, spend a little bit more time exhausting every possibility, because clearly I need it. So this seems to function just fine. This could be a strat. That's looking about as consistent as it's going to get. Um, so our missiles don't fit anywhere else. Hey there, come on, Dante. Welcome back. Hey there, Andromeda. How are you doing today? Hmm. <laughs> Getting those 70 mile an hour gusts there? That's a good question. I have not checked. It's currently raining outside, so I imagine it's... I, I could go probably just walk outside and find out, you know, if I, if I fly away. I right, mean, go do that, actually. If, if you don't hear from me again, I probably get impaled by a flying lizard or something. Band just finished coming through, so it's actually uh, it's actually not raining anymore. I just passed by, so all the gusts of winds have gone away. I did, however, walk outside and got swarmed by ducks that were looking for shelter. Recognized a few of them too, which is always sympathy-inducing. <laughs> all right. Let's see. <laughs> flying lizard, not a flying croc, could be a bit more unpleasant. But the but the alligators, though. 
Okay, so we could we can play around with this, which means we probably want to run support over here. What's the hurricane's name this time? Ian. Uh, so we could do a support base and then double warhead base here. Um. Hmm. You should have brought a duck to this stream. They're not super. Um, they're still wild animals. Uh, they're not super keen on being picked up and manhandled. Ducks are fluffy. They are fluffy. They're fluffy and soft and loud. And they, they're very chatty creatures. Like you would think, you'd think they wouldn't be so loud. They're, they're not particularly kind creatures either. <sighs> they're also quite filthy rather foul creatures okay so for this ooh, i didn't test to see if this fits here if i recall it doesn't which makes me sad let me try this again that's why you bribe them with food oh no <laughs> don't know what part of florida you're in i'm in south florida uh the southern bit that's going to be mostly not obliterated So, I expect to be okay. <laughs> Why you bribe them with food? Oh no. Does anyone know what weapon the AI prefers to fire at first? Strength or Brook Sunday? Uh, as far as I can tell, it's completely random. It just picks a random target and then tries to fire at it. And if it doesn't have a line of sight, it just picks another random target. Waterfowl or foul? I know, right? There's uh, one there's one duck, uh, female duck actually, that comes by a lot. It's got a wounded leg, so it uh, hobbles around a lot. You can always recognize it because it's hobbled because it hobbles around a lot. And it comes by looking for food. It's like... Mm. Yeah, so if I get this mine, I have to slide this guy further out, which I can do, but it does mean that this bracing is no longer defendable. Which is concerning. Like I, I can do this, but that's just an extra couple layers of bracing that's outside the realm of tangibility. I don't know if this is worth it. This is probably going to pull a lot of... I'm going to venture a guess and say this isn't worth it because it's going to pull a heap load of aggro. Uh, because there is technically a gap here, which means it's an exposed weapon. Um, exposed weapons are the highest of priority which means this sucker is going to get slammed by everything um Yeah, shoots middle devices. I I've seen the AI shoot swarm missiles like the top of them, like target the top of them, all the time. I I think it targets like for swarm missiles specifically. It targets the center of the like the exposed bit. I mean, we can test that. If I were to just throw that in here. Uh, let me quit. I think we still have his AI. Yeah, we still have the AI. I still have the AI in there. So we have sniper spam AI in here. We'll do skirmish, hard, disable, player, mods. 
Let's do... Is there anything else I want here? I don't... I don't think so. Let's... Oh god, it's gonna instantly go up to... Let's not do that. I need to survive long enough to do things. Uh, let's do this, this. I'm not going to attempt to counter snipe because that's just a mistake. I am absolutely going to cheese it. Maybe you're already too late for that. As long as I never repair that again. In fact, let me slap this guy here for aggro management. So now, this will get shot at a lot. And their snipers will disappear. Rapidly. Okay, so now I put this guy up. Jesus. It's like every time one of those snipers fires, it nearly gets... A, it's nearly a perfect return. To, is this not a perfect return to sender? How is it not... I'm confused. Those shots are going slightly higher than whence they came. Okay, whatever. Alright, so if I put this guy here, it is not pulling all the aggro. Okay. It's not pulling any aggro. Well, I was... I just don't repair that. Let's do this. I heard you a little bit. What did I do? I should let... I should let this die. I'll let that die real quick. All, right. All the aggro goes up there. Okay. All right. They are legit not shooting at this. Oh, they shot at it. All right, if I do this, make sure that's not exposed. I'll wait for it to complete. This is not gonna do an AI stream. Then where we are? Oh, this is not the AI. Yeah, the thing things changed. Right, I open this up. Oh my god, something about this has changed. They're just not instant. They're not even trying to shoot at it. Oh no. Oh no. Okay.
Well, that's devastating. Maybe slightly to the right, and uh, nah. Alright, so this might pull some aggro. Not even a little bit? Oh, there's one shot. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's not. It seems low on the priority list. I think it's treating it like it's an exposed... Uh, these things really like the core. I think it's low on the priority list. Such that it's trying to shoot the core instead of this, like, almost every time. But it does sometimes shoot at it. And then does hit it. What if I just leave it like this? Because that just completely exposed managed to build the entire thing. They really like reactors? Yeah, they do. If I try to turbine, I did. Yeah, we've done turbines before. We know what that's like. All these snipers firing and having their shots sent almost directly back into them. So something over here got hit. What got hit? This one got hit. Okay. I mean... Maybe you cover up the core a little more? That's a good question. Let's try that. What if there's just too much stuff in the way? What if there's a lot of stuff in the way? What if... The portals pull 100% aggro, so it seems. Okay. How have we managed this? You're blowing yourself up. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, so. Um, I guess that's just not. Like, it's full. It's ex these are exposed weapons, and they're just not into it. Okay. Lessons have been learned. Um. Hmm. Uh, the portals could pull out. Now the portals are com completely ignored by the AI. Which is why they aren't used in AI tournaments. From Hillsborough, Florida, still holding strong. Yeah! It's gonna get some extra free AC out here soon. But for the moment, it is quite nice outside, at least in my area. The moment. Um. Oh. 
Okay. So that changes things significantly. Oh, I need sandbox. How do I want to do this? All right, so first off, let's start the record. Let's just play around with things. I don't have planned here. I feel like this is a mistake going with this and having it. No, it's not a mistake. We've 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 seen what happens. It doesn't get targeted. So I need this, this, this. And then we go up. That could have been bad. Uh, this will leave us vulnerable to the sniper shenanigan there, right? Sell metal early? I can. I would rather not at exactly this moment. I think at this point we do this and this. Then let's not leave it exposed nonetheless. Gizmo Gary coming in and rejoining the incursion. Congratulations, friend. You've regained access to all the beautiful emotes here in the channel, as well as your special access role on Discord. Welcome back to the party. My own Florida? Yes, yes, I am. I've already. I'm all prepared and such. It's just, uh. awaiting. awaiting the coming storm, as it were. And also preparing for this weekend's, uh. tournament. Which I realize may... I'm just assuming that I'm going to have power. Which is not a good assumption. But I'm assuming it nonetheless. Hmm. And then from this point... We start doing... The sniper. Oh, do this. That way I can. Do this, followed by. This, this. Like. No. That's not going to work very well. Okay. That's just way too expensive for what it is. Do, do. 
COFF WNTG OBS tonight. Joint OBS. Ooh, interesting. If I so desire to join. I am going to be busy tonight. Um, building an actual AI. Because what I'm doing now is not build. Is not the AI that I intend to be using for the tournament. Uh, this is just me brainstorming, as it were. I do need to actually get that written. So we'll uh, have to come back to that one later. It was so fun to think about making and awful to actually make. Uh, yeah, I can I can agree to that one. All right, so this should be roughly functional. And do this. this up a bit more. We know it won't get shot at much, but I want it to at least be able to take a modicum of damage without being at actual risk. Uh, and then we expand further. Okay, so if I do it like this, we can actually connect up here. Nice. That's about all we need for this guy. <laughs> of course, I must do more planets that planet manning on stream. Yeah, I know you caught me a couple times off stream. I was, was and I think Hot like caught me more off stream. I know you were there at least once. <sighs> Does this AI work based off of S FSM? Nope. No AA against what? What are they gonna do? Fire mortars at me? Are howitzers at me? If we're firing howitzers at me, this is AA is really not going to work out very well. They're firing mortars at me. I'm just going to assume they're going to miss. They're firing rockets at me. I'm going to assume that they're going to self-destruct. So, like, there's not much to do other than if they're going to fire nukes at me. And I don't have the appropriate tech for that. Um, I could do machine gunners behind tiniest of doors. nine rockets uh, we call that self-destruct button okay so this should just fire off cooldown assuming it lives long enough to do that uh, let's test it out T 
F2, T1, F1, T1, F2, we purge this because I do not care about sniper build. And we just throw it up there and see what happens. You think you might just submit your sniper spam, man? Dude, this is this is what's been going on with me. Like we we I opened it up. I have like I've tried so many different strategies so far, and all of them are so mediocre and disgusting that I just don't want to submit any of them. And I'm like, at this point, I'm just gonna submit a sniper spam AI because I don't know what else to do. And it's like, oof. is this really what I'm gonna do? Really? Like, why? Looking at the map. Have I heard about the Google Chrome ad block ban? Uh, I saw a clickbait title about it. Uh, I did not look into it more, like at all. So I'm going to say no. I can't, but sniper spam gets counted by two door snipers. I know, right? Isn't that just the worst? All right. Uh, I do expect the missiles to not make it because I'm gonna expect the sniper spam to do terrible things, but I wanna see what happens here. You would love an extension on this one. You've been so busy with the classes and there's constant tweaks to the AI mod, it's hard to get a read. Uh, I haven't noticed the tweaks being particularly relevant to the build orders. Yeah, I think we're soft locked already by virtue of and snipers incoming. No, we're not soft locked yet. But it's not great. Oh. Technically not soft locked, just not particularly. Uh... Not particularly expedient in the forward progress. It's actually saving up for a mine right now. Nope, we're saving up for a metal brace. It's not repairing, which is concerning. Snipers go burr, they do go burr. And how many dollars each of those cost? Well, it's it's not much. Yeah, that's, there goes that. Zero metal fertile energy. Yeah, that's about right. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, so let's turn off. Let's turn off that AI for now, so I can at least see if this breaks. Uh, let's see, team two, team two. Let's do this. Disable the sniper spam for now. <laughs> the shotgun makes undoid snipers go boom. It, they do, they do, yes. Sandbags, turbines, slanted, sharp metal, wood spam. Build has to start with all that to beat sniper spam. Yes. It's not and expensive. It, the thing about sniper spam, it's predictable and it's easy to deal with. Once you incorporate it into the start of your build, then you, you're you just done with it and you can move on. Most other weapons are exactly the same way, by the way. Once you deal with it, you move on. Uh, the difference is with snipers, you... Um, with snipers, you always expect at least some snipers, so you're going to get value out of it. 
if you build around too many different things, like, oh, I built your own rockets and shotguns and flak, and then you end up not building around the enemy's designated selection quickly enough, and so you just lose because you weren't ready to take the hit. <laughs> the trick to beat sniper spam AI is to get one of your AI to, AI to build a bait turbine and then drop one doored sniper to kill 10 undoored. Something like that, yes. I, I was actually playing around with that with a, uh, a repair bay, sandbags, and a turbine. And had like 10 snipers just hammering it away at a sandbag being repaired by a, a repair bay. It was hilarious. It just face tanked an entire wall of the things for indefinitely... It was great. Would you like to fight against a better test AI that doesn't spam snipers? Eh, not really. AI is an overcomplicated rock, paper, scissors. That's an, a great description, yes. I still have commanders. I need to... I need to remember to disable that. Like, like, having commanders enabled isn't particularly relevant or meaningful, but, like, I should, I should disable that. Just in case it gets the occasional relevant ones. I gave this spam one eagle last night, but that doesn't help them at all. At least until they get their ultimate up, which they didn't use. Yeah, so this is terribly unrefined of a bit. Oh my god. Well, that's something I'm glad I'm seeing now. Things having a, a mental breakdown trying to get through double slanted doors. Oh god. Look at it. Look at it. It's trying so hard to shoot at something, anything. Trying, it's getting it's getting attacked by machine gunners, and oh god, this is the worst. This is the worst. The double slanted doors are so satisfying. I do like the double slanted doors when I'm controlling it. I am seeing an issue with this AI, however. I think it's it's so. Oh no. Oh no. I need Kronk's AI patch. Do I not have it? I already have all the extra AI stuff. I updated everything last night. AI info. Recording fix, got that. Deadline, bracket, download link. I've got everything! What am I missing? Yes, these AI will absolutely will absolutely shoot down their own their own nukes. You don't have a full version of the patch. Okay. Kronk. I'm going to say this. Uh, maybe this is a, a... 
maybe if you're still making changes at this point, maybe it's a good idea to push the tournament back to next week. It's it's already at the point where people should have like be in the testing phase of the AI. Thank you, Noah. I was under the impression that the, that the last one was the fixed one. They're not even firing the missiles. They're having a mental breakdown. Oh, I see. They technically don't have an angle at what they're trying to shoot at. Because I think they're trying to shoot at this. Or this as opposed to just the... Okay. Also, isn't Flynn's tournament next week? Flynn's tournament is next week. That's correct. So that's another issue. They're trying so hard to fire, and it's just not happening. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's be honest, half the A's would be created hours for the tournament. Hey, I mean, I'm already halfway there. Uh, so let's just purge that one with glorious fire and redo it. This guy gets deleted. And this one, go to favorites, tournament six. I'm going to disable, I'm not going to enable the unlimited energies and such because I, it helps me get a better timing on things. Can you have an AI puppy? Can you imagine? Alright, so... <clears throat> what kind of build order do I want to go with here? The first thing you need is eco and then basic defenses to stop the basic cheeses. We need to think about what that looks like on this map. What does it look like on this map to avoid basic cheeses? Hello there, Justin. Welcome to the chat. <sighs> okay. Any hurricane issues? Uh, turtle went swimming across the road. Went out for lunch today. Uh, found a turtle in the middle of the road. Just chilling in a puddle. Uh... Actually, I took a picture of it. Let me see if I can throw it up here real quick. Its picture is... That's not it. Where is it? Did my phone not sync yet? Took a picture with the turtle. And it didn't sync on my phone. Why are you like this? Tell me why. Just want to show you guys a picture of the turtle that I found in the middle of the road. Yep, did not sync. Okay, well. It's not great. Why did you not sync? Why are you not currently sinking? It's real inconvenient. <laughs> now I want to know why this didn't sink properly. Uh oh. Camera, please. Gallery. 
The sucker, yeah, it's here. It's on my phone. I didn't, like, forget to take the picture or something. guess I'm gonna just leave that for now and hope it sinks because I don't want to force upload or something. Oh, the application just... I need a new phone. I so much need a new phone. This sucker is so old. I'm on this. I'm on the Series 7. They're up to the 22 now, for reference. It's nuts. How... It, it, as a tech guy, either... You know, I've got the oldest equipment that doesn't ever get updated because I fix it to make it, you know, not need to be updated. Or, I've got all the latest stuff. I'm in one of those categories. But like, come on, man. Yeah, it's... Having crashing applications left and right. What's going on here? Alright, there we go. Got it to sync. Okay. One turtle. That's... Why is it rotated sideways? I swear, it wasn't rotated sideways when I... I'm going to scream. Why can't things just... This is fine. One horizontally rotated turtle. Let me... Flip this... The other way. Not that way. There we go. One turtle. Found middle of the road. Just chilling in a puddle. Managed to drive over him without harming him, and then pulled up the side of the road and threw him back into the lake. And by threw him back into the lake, I mean put him next to the water's ledge, and he ran away from me because that's what turtle do. <laughs> ah. So that's that was my day going out to lunch. Turtle boy just chilling. Yeah, he was just chilling in the middle of the road. I'm like, no, you're gonna get, you're gonna get killed and take someone else out with you. You just went from the S9 to the S22. Yeah. So I'm looking for what I'm probably gonna get is a, uh, a Pixel with the um, graphene OS and like glass wire it and everything. It's, that's what I'm looking for, I think. And I'll, I'll roll with that for the foreseeable future, I imagine. I haven't actually done that yet, but that's on the thing I want to do. Okay, so for this, the first thing we do is this and then this. Because I'm not going for cheese. The second thing I do is defend against cheese. In Pixel 6... Uh, I'm thinking about the Pixel 6, yes. Which is also convenient because the Pixel 6 has a decent camera. From what I've been told. Let me actually look it up again. Google Pixel. Do, 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 the new Pixel 6a. Uh, let me actually see Graphene OS. Let me see, does that, does that support the Pixel 6 just yet. Build releases. It does. 6A. Alright, so it does support the... It does support the Pixel. So if I do Google Pixel 6... We have options. OK. 
camera specs. Tech specs. I like tech specs. Tech specs are fun. Here, let me. So while so while I do off screen Google searching, I can swap over to this guy real quick. <clears throat> You can't post Discord image links. Yeah, there's no, there are no links on Twitch. You got a Pixel Six, and it's nice. Yeah, that, that's, that's one of the reasons I'm looking at it. Like honestly, I've got the Samsung, and I'm just sick and tired of Samsung. It's, it's gotten worse. Like between all the, uh, like just the amount of stuff they put on your phone, and it's like, oh no, you can't disable this application, but it's actually using my data like at a substantial amount just for tracking purposes i'm like i'm just done with it it's like no i don't want to get pop-up notifications about the latest verizon uh sponsored what is it sports ball event but i can't disable it because that's i can't disable it because they don't want me to no, just please, for the love of God, just let me control my phone. Uh. Right, a lot of this is not particularly meaningful to me. That's nice. To be fair, about everything here is nice compared to the S six, uh, to the uh, S seven. Front camera, rear camera. Oh, sweet baby Jesus! Oh, sweet baby Jesus! That's so much. I'm super into that right now. Like my camera has issues where it's just not high enough resolution to get things done. 24 to 48, battery life. Eh, it's not, it's not better than what I currently have. is six inches 6.2 inches by two by three that's smaller than i expected it to be which is i guess i just had high expectations my thing is it doesn't have a it doesn't have a uh what is it called it doesn't have an aux port uh, port I'm not I really like the idea of an aux port because then I can connect it to older technologies that are just everywhere I don't think I want to compare it to things uh, ooh, now I'm going to have to make a decision well, I guess we won't have to make it now oh god this is actually bigger yeah. like I know I've got deep pockets but yeah Okay. <laughs> Screw Bixby and Samsung free with pre-installed Candy Crush and, 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 yeah. There are actually games on my phone that I can't get off the phone without rooting the thing, which I'm just not into at the moment. Like I've had rooted phones before. It's just not into it right now. Huh. This doesn't have wireless charging? Interesting. Mm. Your mother finally gave up her S2 earlier this year after her carrier dropped it. Whew. Yes. I'm almost there. 
<laughs> like the S the S2 isn't that far behind the S7. Like the, the S2 uh, and S7 were like what a year or two apart. You picked up a Nokia just because it didn't go with bloatware. Hey, there it is. UFS. Okay, so I. Okay, I'm not going with the 6A then, if that's the storage on this. The camera is way better on the not 6A. Okay, so this so the 6A is the economic option for sure. By a lot. Five years apart. Five years apart? Really? I don't... Usually it's it's multiple per year. I remember them being pretty close apart. Now I gotta know. When's the... Samsung... Galaxy S2. Let's see. When was this released? 2011... Samsung Galaxy S7. Oh, yeah. That's 16. Okay. I, my memory is off on that. Okay. Good to know. Alrighty, so I would have to go with either the Pixel 6 or the Pixel 6 Pro. One of the two. Probably just the Pixel 6. Like I don't need an extra three. Yeah, I guess it's not that big, but... I also don't need to spend that much more money on it. Yes, yeah, 7, that portable pocket bomb. I know, right? Okay. Well, science, uh, learning has learning has been had. Uh, let's get back to let's get back to the uh, the AI here. Do -do -do. Is it a good handy? You've never heard that one. Uh, so the reason I'm looking into it is because it fits with Graphene OS, and I'm sick and tired of doing, like, home-rooted stuff that's just messy to have to deal with. And I'm also sick and tired of bloatware and such, I'm just not into it. So, I'm looking for Graphene OS, and Graphene OS does Pixel very well. So I'm into the Pixel, because, like, the Google Pixel, like, the Google line, include like, the Nexus and the Pixel, have always been very good. Uh, it's just the Samsung line, the Galaxy line, has been slightly better. It just comes to the downside of being associated with the Samsung, which is a negative, a pretty heavy negative. Uh, it's just at this point, I'm, I just don't care enough about the twenty, the S twenty two's features. I would just rather have to not deal with Samsung. It's literally that simple. And the Pixel is a close second in my opinion. <sighs> All right. So we do basic eco here. By that, I mean we do this, just these two, and that should give us enough. Now, the question then is, I do I build this now or do, I think we build this now, we might get punished for this. Uh, we sell this. Should have sold this first. Enjoy the dark side iPhone. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. That is not gonna happen. Alright, so we need to do this, this, and to prevent the sniper cheese, among other things, I need a distraction. 
as well as you know i and this is something i don't know if is getting fixed uh no it uh so i don't currently have the mod installed um do snipers still aggro on sandbags like other devices in the new patch Because currently, if you just build sandbags, they get targeted. They're not a high priority, but they do get targeted, so you can build enough of them that you just are immune to most things. Because they splash their damage everywhere against sandbags. This might also be an Eaton question, too. Your biggest complaints about the Pixel 6 is they didn't market it as the Sixel. Oh no. With Google, you can get the fully unlocked Android, which is better than something. I like the fully unlocked Android. When I was doing um, most of my Android routing, it was always on a Nexus or variant Google device. Not really. Okay, so I'll take that as I'll take that as not worth spamming down. Um, <clears throat> all right, so I can do a little bit of baiting here. I can also do removing of this just to make it cheaper. It's the flat metal that's really the problem. We do this guy and then I can do that later. Uh, generally speaking, AP sniper rush is not much of a thing. So I don't have to be terribly concerned about that. Uh, but let's get ourselves a sniper of our own. Just to have it at the gate. Ooh. How do I want to handle this? Let's do it like this. I don't want to do too much in the way of tiny door because that causes problems for the AI. Is that okay? We'll have to leave it like this for now. Now we will have a tiny door sniper that it can do some work. Um, no. I'm unsatisfied. I'm unsatisfied. I'm very unsatisfied. That's that's wrong. That's very wrong. We're un we're undoing all of that. Uh, I didn't record. That's good. Okay. <clears throat> One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. Add this. Now we need to do anti sniper cheese, which I think I can actually do up here. Probably be a good idea. This way I can do this. And then we do this, this. this like so this 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 that should pull some aggro and by a lot. So now we have the ability to simply expand here. This guy. This guy. And then basically we wait. So we do a little bit more eco here. 
<laughs> Brought your metaphorical life raft. It's okay. We, uh, we here in Florida are accustomed to the, to the water. The one place I worked at, my, uh, colleagues had a canoe for, uh, travel purposes. It was very effective. Let's do this. Oh. And just then we wait, I think. Okay. Okay. Oh. You were considering doing the same, but you keep losing power. Oh no. Yeah, the uh, whole power thing is... I'm set up so I won't like lose the stream immediately if my power goes out. Obviously, if the internet goes out, that's a slightly different problem, but... The, uh, issue of infrastructural pro it, uh, degradation is... It's going to happen. Just a matter of time. All right, so I want tiny doors, but I don't want it to be too tiny because the AI has unreasonable issues with that. Ideally, also double doored. Um, in this particular build order, I haven't gotten an early sniper, which means uh, this is not going to be some a build that I'm going to be keeping for a significant period of time. But this should get a good start. Okay. What did I find this playlist? Uh, this is, I believe this is Epidemic Sound. Hey there, Connie Events. Welcome to the chat. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm not sold on this. The reason f for that is this can only bait some of these guys. So to give you reference, let's go ahead and draw a line here in the center of this. Over to... Where is my color? I want my yellow, my specific brand of yellow, which sometimes gets saved, sometimes doesn't get saved, and I don't... Pencil. Pencil. Okay, so we'll take this guy, put his size of five, draw you from here to... Actually, that goes a lot lower than I expected. So realistically, that can get everything below this line can pull aggro from, which is fairly substantial. Okay, I'm no longer disappointed in this. Okay, I'm okay with this. Moving on. Let us see. Is there anything else here that I want? Like this can fire, right? This can fire at everything below here. 
all the way up here. Fails here. Uh, let's do this. Where can you fire? You can fire here. That's... Might be a problem. Stupid EPS battery is filled. Oh no. I actually haven't checked my EPS battery in a while. Mind you, it did get used somewhat recently. So I assume it's working. Because it, it worked last time I was used. But Okay, so we can... This one's actually got some pretty good range. Okay. Um, this is going to present a problem. At some point, I'm going to need more sniper. Has the made landfall yet? I don't believe so. Uh, like, technically. Like, obviously, it's big enough to affect and hit people. Like, two days away. But I don't think it's technically made landfall yet. As it is described. Um, this base just looks so vulnerable to way too many things. The sniper position is not great, to say the least. Um... Another sniper position here, which is going to happen at some point. Although I don't. So if I were to do a second sniper here, let's do this to help with that guy. It's going to cause the ire of the enemies and bring it toward this nuke, which I'm not into. Because the nuke, as we have learned, does not get targeted. Uh, but let's see. What I can do is this. Cover this. Then do this. It's like real close. And I should get decent coverage. Get and a, deep, but a tiny door is a little bit closer you get better angle so if I do that then I don't have this secondary backup door um, this is something I don't always have to prepare for but AP snipers are a thing if I were to do this it ruins street ruins anyone who doesn't prepare like this so AP sniper rush is a big deal alright so this guy can fire at all these things here and such, yeah. Seems it. Uh, let's do this and this. I realize that one's an AP sniper, so it won't be used. Alright, you can hit everywhere up to here. That one can hit that one. This can hit everywhere down here. Uh, I need to check this again. To get the specifics of it. Ian's eye is well inland now. Is it? I've not kept up with that. So it doesn't feel like that. But of course. Okay, so this one can target that. So yeah, just because it can technically hit the core doesn't mean it can trigger against the core if it isn't in central flow. If it isn't uh, in the center of it. Let me check out. Ian. Hurricane Ian. It's like we've been getting hit by tornadoes and such in my area. Oh yeah, it is. It is. It has made landfall, just barely, but it has made landfall. It's in a. I updated at three oh eight, so three hours ago it was. Alright, so it looks like it made landfall about three hours ago. Like three and a half hours ago. Okay. So it's it's a bit it's a bit hectic. 
I don't know if you have, if you guys have ever been like in the eye of the storm, just looking up and outside, and it's just watching the watching the clouds move at surreal speeds, cycloning around you. It's actually really cool to see, and incredibly pleasant. Actually, it makes for some actually good weather inside the eye of the storm. It's really, it's nice. Am I trying to restrict the view of the sniper so they don't get stuck firing at protected core like? Uh, yes and no. Um, these not specifically, however, so the, the, there's restricting the view of the snipers can be strong because if they don't have line of sight, then they won't try to fire at things that they don't have line of sight at. Usually, sometimes they do, but usually they don't. So what you can do is you can restrict them to say only fire at one base and then they only fire at one base uh, with unrivaled hatred. Um, in this instance, I'm less caring about that feature so much as the, uh, tiny door elements, because in any AI match, the snipers do the thing where they fire like that through the doors, and they just fire a shot as it goes through like this. If you try doing that with big doors, it closes slower, as you notice. Which takes time, and the um, that's how you get your your snipers door sniped. So tiny doors is necessary. The whole restriction thing, cool but not mandatory. What's the AI's target priority? Mostly RNG. Um, some things have a higher chance than others. I don't have the list in front of me. And there's a few modifiers that change the way that works, but mostly random. Just move the auto door a bit closer. I would rather not. The um, even moving a bit closer causes problems. It's not the AI isn't like a human that can look at this and say, "Oh, this is a good angle." The AI just tries to put it exactly where you did, where you had it, and if something happens, like. Oh no, my base got shot and it wobbled. This is now a tenth of a degree off. I'm gonna put it in the same spot, but oh no, it's now a tenth of an it's now a, a tenth of a pixel inside the minimum build range, so it can't build anymore. So let me just adjust it over here, but oh no, it's not connected to anything because it's not connecting to the same spot that it was connected that it would have been connected to before. What do I do? Let me build it again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Hey, I can build it again. Oh no. Oh no. It gets really rough to deal with. So you just generally don't play with tiny bracings like that at all. Like all these little ones here, like this guy, are super dangerous and generally lead to um, soft locks in the AI, which is why I'm not connecting this and why I've added any amount of extra distance on these instead of making them minimum. It's, um, I, I, I am well aware that this could be optimized by moving those doors closer. I would rather not play that game. Um, it is possible for me to do a design differently such that I do something like, here, let me do this, such that I do door here and then I could do door here like this that could be a thing and as long as I don't do this hyper connectivity thing in between them I have nothing but longer braces about um, that could work, and then I don't have to deal with this much distance in between it. Uh, that's something I've done before, but I find it generally not worth the effort. Although, in this instance, actually, wouldn't be too difficult to do. Now that I now that I think about it, because I, I usually just write that off as not worthwhile. Because what I can do... Is... 
this. Like so. And then I've got doors. Tiny and small and big. That would be much more reasonable to do. Um, I wouldn't wouldn't mind doing that. I think I won't do it because this is less modular. But this is something that can be done and might be an optimization that's worth doing. I just don't have an answer as to whether it's going to be worth doing, and I'm going to choose not to. But it is definitely worth considering. Absolutely worth considering, and I don't have a good answer for its value. Other than ambiguous. <sighs> I'm super not into this base layout, man. Like, I'm super not into it. Not even considering the vulnerability. Oh, it takes one person to build a buzzsaw, which a lot of people do at the end of their at the end of their builds. Like, oh, at 15 minute mark, I guess I have nothing else to do. Let me build one buzzsaw and see if it changes anything. But sometimes it does. <laughs> it looks like soft luck hell. Uh, mm, not really. The AI has a different set of building rules than humans. The AI can overlap things without consequence. It's not... It really isn't softlock. It's not the... It isn't the angle and closeness to other bracings that you have to look out for when considering softlocks. It's the size, the length, and the stability of the brace. This is particularly... This is not particularly stable, so... Eh. But it's also not connected to anything, which makes it easily workable. So we'll... It's, it's fine. In terms of soft lock. But it's, it's everything else around it that concerns me. Okay. Um, let me think. I do want to handle this differently. We're not doing cheese. Remove this. This is sandbox. I can't. Okay. We'll do this guy. Uh, let's get the snipers first. So we'll do this. Place this. And then... going to leave it that way just so that we don't have the biggest of doors and we'll leave it here um do i want so here's the thing unless it's firing ex explicitly this lower base is not going to get the tiny door the maximum tiny door effect this is very much so for the uh, lower base. But I can then do the same thing again and have it target the upper base, yeah? Like so. That way I get one tiny door for below, one tiny door for above. How's the pillow for it coming? I found a bunch of ducks, turned them into fluffling feathers, and then made a pillow out of it. And it's so soft. Just kidding. My grandmother did that, though. A long time ago. Okay, so I'm liking this a little bit better. We get one for below, one for above. Is this one technically capable of shooting out above? It has to build a lot down. Is this one technically capable of shooting it below? It has to build up. I like this a bit better. 
This is much more reasonable. And I can always defend against AP snipers by double doing like so. Okay. Is it tournament this weekend? It is, it is. Build the anti minigun short slant armor. I I I really don't care about miniguns. As long as I so the thing about miniguns is snipers are a defense against them. I don't have to be concerned about miniguns if I destroy the miniguns. Snipers destroy the miniguns every time. I mean, not every time, but enough that they aren't a problem. Okay, so I think that'll be the opener. And then we'll go tech and economic expansion. Uh, that's going to be the opener. I should... So this is the question. Do I defend against the full sniper cheese by doing this? Or do I? I probably should because then I can turn this into foreground bracing. And then I do need the distraction. So we do one and. Oh no, okay, so I gotta do this differently. And just two. Okay, and then slide this way back here. Uh, yeah, that should be good enough, I think. Oh, let me zoom out here and do the, the line test again. Got this guy, if I were to draw a line from center here to, yeah, 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 that's good. Okay, so that one pulls aggro here. <coughs> and then we just go collect here and I do want to get the swarms online before anything else. So we do this. And then this. And then should have done this first. Before something bad happens. Just in case it pulls aggro the wrong way. And then okay. I don't actually care about that thing firing, so that's just gonna live there. So we do this. That should be fine, because it doesn't get targeted. Hmm. Alrighty, have a good one, Noah. Good luck out there. Once those two are constructed, we place this down and we start working on turbines. This needs to be built onto this node, specifically. And then we go lower here. Connect. Turbines. Do you need more turbines earlier in the build? Probably. It's easy enough to add a second one there. Especially once the snipers start firing. Um, also worth noting that I have yet to consider using this expansion. We'll go like this. Then from here, it's probably enough to upgrade these. 
I want one more battery. Bring us up to 9,000 so we can actually double fire these. And... Is that it? That's about the full build. Um, in terms of firepower. So everything else is shoring up. There's stuff like this. This is still fully capable of firing upon this. Uh, we'll add the double doors, which it's probably not worth adding the double doors because if they were going to become a problem, they would have already already won the game. So adding the second door just slows down the sniper without any serious, without any notable benefit. We upgrade these. I'm still disappointed in this layout. There's so many things that can go wrong. It's so bad defensively. It's vulnerable to a great many things. But again, there's a hurricane right now. Yeah, it's real wet outside. And windy. And rather unpleasant. All right. Okay, let's give it a shot. Slowly. Alright, so one here, two here, three here, four. We go down and build sniper nest. And we do so by doing this. Like so. Okay, and then we do this. Okay, then we do this. Like so. This. So we have our snipers. Next, we do this. Then we do this. First, we go and build this. And I messed this up already. Um, maybe if I slanted, that would actually be better off anyways. Oh, that's a catastrophe of deformation. Okay, put you all the way back here. Someone builds a sniper up here is going to ruin that, by the way. I have to think about that. I'm playing Minecraft. Oh, got any mod packs going? Do you? Uh, before this, compl before this actually takes off, I want to do this. Why am I leaving this thing exposed? The sniper shoot at it anyways. I mean, they shoot at it more if it's exposed. They don't have to leave it exposed. This is opening myself up to getting cheesed. If someone just builds a sniper here on their side, I, they cheese this and this gets soft locked. This is... No, I need to, I need to redesign this. All right. Uh, no. Mm. 
me some materials to work with. Okay. How do I handle this? Uh, let me purge that AI before I accidentally use it somewhere. Thank you. All right, so how do I want to change this guy? Feed the Beast Inferno, but you're not exactly liking it. I am actually unfamiliar with that one. Slap you there. This almost saves it. Ooh, boy. Doesn't fit. If that requires that level of uh, precision, that I'm not going to trust it to the AI. Very story driven, but also very grindy. Oh, one of those. Okay. I really, I, I really, I can't fit two sandbags in here, not without getting silly levels of precise with this. You think you're going back to kitchen sinks? Oh no, that's a sad thought. I guess it's not that sad. It's like this is there. This might fit. Oh, this is like pixels. This is dangerous, man. This is how you get in trouble. I, this is, this is not good. Okay. What I can do is do this, do this. I can leave this open and this closed. And by open, I mean stuff it full of sandbag. Like so. That way it can't get shot from above. And it's just hard walled in front. Hard walled. Soft walled in front. Uh, I should probably do double sandbag here. Well, I didn't. Okay. What I'm trying to do here, just test out different aggro management slots. So if I go here, got a stable platform, machine gunner goes here. And then we do, I guess just basic one by one grid. If I do one and a half, uh, it needs to be one by one, doesn't it? Otherwise we can't fit. Yeah. Okay. So I can do this and 
this. But now I need this to be hard walled. Which is easier said than done, it would seem. Ooh. What's the point of having the machine gunner there? So it gets shot at. That's the point. This is going to happen. Here's the thing. Is this worth doing? Because this is going to be built after the snipers. The snipers are going to pull just as much aggro as the machine gunner. Begs the question. Is this worth doing? Fits, does not. Hey there, Patrick, coming down and joining the incursion. Congratulations, friend. You regained access to all the beautiful emotes here in the channel, so this is a special access role on Discord. Welcome to the party. That works pretty well. And I could just do something like this. That's tanky as all. That'll attract the few shots. Get some damage done. going to break when I add the missile silo on it. Uh, it's probably not worth doing because I'm going to have snipers anyways. Power outages, power outages are occurring. Winds are now up to 200 miles an hour. Yeah. It's real wild. Don't you love hurricanes? Uh, this one's actually kind of scary. I'm not looking forward to seeing the wreckage outside. Uh, last time we were out of power for like three days. Hmm. Definitely not fun. Am I going to try Terra Invicta? I'm not sure. I was watching some videos on it. I I might give it... I f find it difficult to... It, it's, it's definitely one of those long-form games. Maybe good for a live stream. So, solid maybe. Hmm. I think I'm going to skip out on this. Ever played Endless Space? I don't remember. I recognize the name. But I don't think I've played it. All right. <clears throat> Let's just go from beginning to end. Get something functional here. Try it out. See what happens. Uh, so we do this. Then we do the snipers. I've tried Timberborn. I've actually not played Timberborn. I'm aware of it. 
I know what it is, but I've not played Timberborn. You know, watching a lot of streams of it and playing it, it's basically the same thing, right? Here, and then we do this, like so, and then we do this, and then we do the snipers are up. We'll add this guy here, and remove this, remove this, and this, and this. Add our bracing is in here. Okay. Reasonable thickness. second turbine followed by swarm missile followed by rapid expansion Nova Drift updated recently I saw that they actually sent me an email about doing a Nova Drift campaign we'll probably will be doing that again soon just because it's it's, it's a good game. Simple, but good. Very good. I saw that it got a, some serious new content as well. I already have a good one, Celiander. Good luck out there. Building the Canadian lumber defense. Yas. Timberborn does actually look pretty good. This going, then we build this guy here. Alright, so then we should have basic. Now we get this guy going. I'm really hoping these three turbines is enough to power these because that could be a problem. That could be a fairly substantial problem. Alright, so we connect here. Like if we're soft locked at this point, uh, then we're in trouble. Cosmeteer's getting closer now. It is. I did see that it's gotten some updates as well. Uh, I was actually looking into Cosmeteer again two days ago. Uh, I didn't make the decision to do another video on it just yet. Uh, but I was observing the content they had added. Checking out patched notes and such. Better to have upgraded storage or more storage buildings. Uh, storage buildings do not have an upgrade. Uh, so more storage, I guess, is the answer to your question.
Nice and sturdy everything. Uh, let's continue the expansion. I didn't need to double up on rope like that. But we get many a turbine. Hello there, Iman. Welcome. What is my favorite game of all time? I don't know. This is going to be something like Day of Defeat. StarCraft, probably. Team Fortress 2 is really good. Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. That one's extremely high up there. Like, extremely high up there. Alright, so we should have the primary core of the build done at this point. Everything else is extraneous. Uh, the third battery will let us double fire these. I should go up to fourth, maybe? This will let us fire them quicker. Pretty vulnerable to AP Sniper? Yes. Yes, it is. It's also vulnerable to cannons, lasers, howitzers, nukes, many other things. Um, I can work around some of that to a degree. That's about as good as we're going to get, I think. We get one more battery. And then I've still got time, so I can keep expanding. <laughs> Jedi Knight 2 was fun on land, but you had to ban the secondary attack, the zigzag lightsaber strike. Zigzag lightsaber strike. All right. So... <sighs> Jedi Knight 2. I'm thinking you're th you're thinking Dark Forces 2. Is I'm I, uh, cause I cause I'm gonna be honest. I played a lot of that game, like a huge amount of that game. And of all the madness and lunacy, like I kid you not, I would do one v five, straight up me versus everyone I knew, and it wouldn't be close. Like, it would be one-sided and by a lot. It was to the point where people just decided that... It, it started out as, oh, Incursus is good at this, let's gang up on him, to... Oh no, they're turning this into an event where any of us tries to kill Dark... Where any of us tries to kill Incursus once over the course of the entire game. It would be... We would do something like, first team to 50 kills, and it would be one versus five, and it would end up... The... Uh, my opponents, all of my friends, not having taken me out even once. The zigzag lightsaber strike, the secondary slash, was just not... On, on the list of things, on the list of things, it was so far down the list of useful tools. <laughs> the secondary strike was like, oh no. Okay, I'm a add an AP sniper maybe. 
Let's add an AP sniper. So at this point, we've got a lot to play with. It was good, don't get me wrong, but on the list of things I had to worry about, the, uh, the secondary, the double slashes was not strong. Hmm. So, like, I don't... I don't really know how that was I, I, at this point i'm just like stuck thinking how could that have been considered too strong i'm like what i'm trying to think like you guys are doing like specifically honor duels like no shields honor duels where you had nothing but lightsabers like no force powers just oof that's that's i think the scenario where you could consider not using or you can consider banning it but then you just have literally only left click to play with which is just less fun i don't now i'm trying to think i'm in thinking brain right now okay uh we're gonna halt this recording and just let that be all right so we've got a recording there So let's, to be fair, it has been a while since I played Dark Forces. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw this in here. Let's just see how it handles the sniper spam, because I'm not convinced I did a sufficient enough anti-sniper spam. If someone just goes full YOLO into it. It's my own curiosity's sake. Map favorites mods favorites. It's already in there. Don't need it. Great. Uh, disable command. Disable commander. I uh, sent me to observer. Hard hard. Go. All right. Already banned. Have a good one out there. I think the one I played most of was Jedi Outcast, followed closely by Jedi Academy. Both of which were amazingly fun, and similar in many ways. It begins. All right, so it needs to, I think, place the sniper before it unlocks this one. Nah, yeah, it needs to place the door before it unlocks this one. Oh, God. No! Why did you open the door and then not shoot? Okay. Sadness. What can you do? It opened the door and tried to shoot at one of these snipers like way down here where it didn't have an angle so it didn't shoot because it couldn't shoot. And then that was the minute and then that was that. There we go. Taking out snipers one at a time. Which is a lot of sniper to take out. We need this second one online. Oh, that door is having a bad time. 
Oh, Jesus. No, put the door back first. Open it. This isn't how I expected it to go. I kind of expected it to have doors first. Can you build a wall before dropping the troop? I tend to agree, yeah. And that's catastrophic deformation. Okay. Uh, so we'll just see just do that again, see if it actually uses the sniper the first time. get a chance to see if it actually uses the sniper. Yes. Yes, it does. It does get door sniped. Which is kind of expected. It just shot itself, which is impressive. Is breaking snipers faster than... Jesus, it got double door sniped. Well, that's the end of that. So it's not repairing, which is an interesting... This is something I didn't expect. I expected it to repair a lot, and it's just not doing that. Which... is surprising to me. Uh, it's it's not rebuilding doors, which is another problem. Okay, so the AI is not working. It's not prioritizing things as I expected it to. Hmm. Okay, let me... Clonk just sent me a message. Thank you. Let's do some adjustments here real quick. Okay, so let me remove this. Disconnect this. Well, hello. Warning. Nuclear launch detected. Crazy mouse. Coming in with a nuclear launch. I find the lack of explosives to be disturbing. <laughs> hey, the crazy moose coming with a nuclear launch. Thank you so much. It was love and chat for crazy moose, showing support for the channel and requesting more explosions. Uh, we shall certainly have some more soon. TM. All right, so I need. Unzip this guy here. Push this. This here. Okay.
Yes, yes. What is this? Lua? No, just no pad it, please. All right. So let's do a little bit of adjustment here. Let's let's just do this one more time with the changes to the AI and see how much it actually changes anything, if at all. I undid the wrong one, didn't I? I did. Okay, rehost. And map, favorites, and tournament six, and observer, and disable commanders, observer tools enabled, player. We do, where is it? Rules. Thank you, Kronk. All right. And hard, hard. Let's see what happens. All right. Mm -hmm. Any new games caught my eye recently? Uh, a fair few of them. Uh, what was one that I was just looking up? <laughs> like, last night. Dark Tide. The Warhammer 40k game. Sucker selling off storages. Oh, jeez. That opened its door way longer than I expected it to. I got instantly sniped like five or six times. When do I reveal this other than way too late? We should start sniping some of these. Gosh. There's so much damage. So much hate in so many different directions. Holy smokes! Did you see that sucker try to... Okay, um... That's a wide... So this thing is trying to shoot at every sniper that it doesn't have an angle on. Oh no. Does the restricting sight line to the sniper no longer work? Because that's pretty yikes. That's awkward. I think we needed to wait for this to go down before we open this, which is just a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> well, hello there. Clearly, the AI has not been taught the preservation part of self preservation. <laughs> Which is negligent, because if you only taught it the self part, you might have gotten Terminators. Oh no. Beautiful laughter to join in with it as well. Thank you, Crazy Moose. Coming in with the support. And the AI jokes. I love it. Did I finish Temtem or will I continue the story? I played a fair amount off stream. Uh, I made it to the second island. It's not true. I made it to the third island. 
Uh, it's good. I actually like Temtem more than Pokemon. Like, I was hesitant to think that Temtem had a more refined core gameplay loop than Pokemon. Uh, I find it to be a more refined gameplay loop than Pokemon. I find all the things around it, the storyline, a lot of the maps, a lot of the, everything else around Temtem to be incredibly less exciting to the point of being boring in a great many cases, most cases, but the actual battles themselves I do find myself enjoying more. The restricted angle part never worked in the first place. If anything works, it works better now. I think like I have to take your word for it. it. It feels like it. It feels like it's crazier now than before. But maybe that's just that one instance because I know it didn't exactly work before. But thank you, Kronk. I will <laughs> go get some rest. I promise you, the VOD will will be available when you uh, when you when you wake up even if I may not be gosh you know despite having tiny doors these snipers are getting bullied my door doesn't get destroyed anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, it's just repairing it now. That's the only difference. Like before the update, it wasn't repairing the door. Now it's repairing the door. That is literally the only difference. This guy's soft locked since uh, the eternity. It's not rebuilding the snipers because it's trying to save for the expansions up here. <laughs> the enemy AI is really shutting us down. No, it's not at all. Uh, we're literally expanding our economy right now behind all of this. This one is... Well, that one was never meant to survive. Are the Team 2 bots all done with their build? The Team 2 bots are done with their build, yeah. Though, to be fair, this one is soft-locked itself, even if it wanted to do more. So I don't know if it is truly locked or if it's just... I don't know if it's truly done or just soft-locked. This one is done with its build. There's a 10 to 1 ratio of snipers, yes. There's about to be far fewer. Because... This is why. I wonder how many of those misses make it across the field. I'm pleasantly surprised. At some point, this one will save up for the money to place a, uh, to buy a, a mine. Eventually. Sniper AA is something to see. Yeah, even if it's accidental. Jesus. These get exactly one shot off, even through the tiny doors. One shot. Oh, hey! It got a shot off and didn't die. That's unusual. Good lord. The swarm missiles. They don't make it across. Just... The air is thick and laden with sniper fire. Why not make shotguns? Uh, this is a mistake, strategically. got this set up now, so now it's just going to be saving for the, uh, <laughs> saving for the second swarm launcher. I said, hey, at least it got that launch off. Oh, wow, most of them make it across. That does some damage. And so it looks like, it looks like this AI on the left, despite being, you know, iteration one-ish, will... 
actually come out on top eventually. It's just going to take a while. Seeing these snipers break wood and even metal is impressive. Yeah. Yeah, it's... It's fun. I think that's one of the reasons why everyone does this. Like, I started this stream by saying, Hey, let me blow off some steam by building sniper spam. And then one of the other competitors said, Hey, I built... I built a test AI just for fun. It's sniper spam! What is the tournament that you'll use these in? Uh, is, well, the tournament is... The tournament is this weekend. That's Saturday... I forget the time, it's like 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, but I won't be using these. This is just me having fun using strategies that I don't intend to use. If those are AP snipers, you'd be having much less fun time. If those are AP snipers, I p wouldn't have to deal with sniper spam. So, solid maybe on that one. Looks like we're really starting to stabilize now. God, the way it's the way the snipers spaz out before every time they fire. It's wild. And the swarms make it. Massive damage. That's going to be repairable. That lower base will not be able to repair. Will not be able to uh, recover from for a significant time. Looks like lower base is all but completely incapacitated. <laughs> At least you have chicken. Oh no. Leroy Jenkins. Is it basically building something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This kind of sniper spam, as much as it is devastating to the unprepared, is pretty darned easy to prepare against. And once you prepare against it, you, um, you don't have a whole lot of, uh, it's not, it's not threatening. It just slows the game down. You get all the breathing room in the world, as it were. And they added Leroy Jenkins to Hearthstone. That is not a new... That was like year one Hearthstone, like more than a... That was, that was like a decade ago. Spoiler alert. Well, both bases on Team 2 have been successfully near completely stripped. Obviously, they'll rebuild, but... Am I testing a bot versus someone else's bot? Yes. At this point, I'm just watching the catharsis of Sniper versus Swarm Missile. Because it's fun. Yeah, technically this is someone else's bot for... Claiming this is someone else's bot, yes, somebody else wrote this. But this is... This is the bot that everyone made. This is the bot that I made... For Team 1 at the start of the stream. <laughs> it's just somebody else made the same thing on Team 2. One of the other competitors, uh, Finn. It's always funny because everyone does this. Everyone does the same thing. Like, without hesitation. <laughs> Winning 1v2, can't wait to see you build a second. Nah. Uh, there's a reason why we don't respect the sniper spam. It's, it isn't good. There's... 
you have to have counters to the sniper spam because it will exist, but it isn't good. This is not a real test of what I'm going to expect to face because it's too common. It's the baseline that you have to get through in order to uh, in order to have a functional build. What if it was scattershot snipers? It would be a little bit more dangerous, for sure. Like, approximately twice as dangerous. Jesus, both of those both of those bases have gone up to full snipers again. Well, both nukes are completed for Team 1, so... Well, uh... Have to, uh... Let's see how that works out. Uh, uh oh. It's the have I idiot proofed my build test? Yes, that's that's exactly what it is. Will I test this rush versus mass mortars? Not likely. Uh, mortars are very difficult to wield on this map. Not impossible, just very difficult to wield on this map. And in doing so successful wielding of them leaves them kind of weak so not terribly concerned about it that's core damage bot build not idiot proof or just incomplete bot build is sniper spam so both It just, uh, it's in a 1v2 situation in terms of the sniper spam, so it's not gonna, it's not gonna win that one by a lot. <laughs> now that armor is, now that the nukes are online, armor is added to help protect. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's full offensive potential. So, it's just a matter of what it wants to do. It's just a matter of actually firing the nukes, which is more a matter of what the AI wants to do and it's random prioritizing than anything else. AI doesn't seem to produce enough energy. It's, it's sitting at 9,000 energy and not firing is what it's doing. It's got enough energy. It's not the energy that's uh, that's missing. It's the metal, and uh, it keeps spending its metal on rebuilding snipers, which is understandable. It just—I'm really hoping that it would uh, actually use the nukes instead of shooting two or three times at the sniper before using the nukes. one down. Uh, so there's typically a 20 minute time limit. We're currently at the 17 minute mark. I'm wondering if nukes are improvement over swarms. Yes, and by a lot. Oh, it's suddenly so much quieter. So the AI has about two minutes to uh, finish off the last base, which I think it can manage. It's got its own AA being built. I don't think I upgraded the mines, did I? I think I upgraded the mines after building the AA, I think. Which, hey, eh, doesn't really matter. It could have fired both nukes there. Wait, did it have the metal? I don't think it had the metal to fire both nukes, actually. It could have fired the, the second nuke there, though. 
Oh, jeez. Going to add sandbags? Not in this one, no. And this is this is a basic iteration that I don't intend to I intend to have this AI deleted in a few hours. But this should be it. We've won the sniper war. There's no more snipers. We've got it soft locked now, because we have snipers and it doesn't. It's out of money. It can't even repair. It's only a matter of moments. Nuclear launch detected. 30 seconds till the time limit. There you have it. Winning a 1v2. Oh, look! This guy finally survived enough to start getting his snipers out. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Well, that's... That's how we expect that one to go. Uh, I do actually want to go support for the second base. Um, yeah, the, the new AI is so much better with the upgrade. Kronk coming in with the AI upgrade. So for the second base, I do want to do something supporty. Uh, we're talking like flak, shotguns kind of stuff. Um... Don't think I really need damage output. That would be a good meme to match it. Uh, let's purge the previous AI. Close the wrong window. I closed the wrong window. Give me a moment. Look at up Terraria stuff. Okay, where's forts? Browse local files. Data maps. Six. Okay, where's the previous AI here? Team 141 expunge. Rockets like EMP plus A. That's the kind of idea, except I do not want to use rockets because rockets just have a high percent chance of uh, offing themselves. Uh, rockets statistically don't work well in AI matches. I should have done this differently. Let's restart this. So I have a variant support that can work pretty well. Uh, it's called sniper spam. It won't do much damage. But it will provide pressure and counter snipe things all day, which is nice. I think doing it like this will slow its roll a lot. I think I'll start with five, and then we will save up for additional goodies and by additional goodies I mean turbine and metal
Okay. Should have done background bracing here. Uh, let's restart this and optimize that a bit. Just a little bit while I'm thinking about it. I've heard about the game Wandering Village. I have, actually. Uh, I'm typically not into city builder kind of stuff. As much as I spent quite a lot of time doing uh, Furthest, Front Farthest Frontier, i typically just not into the city builders. Just like as a general rule. So, yeah, solid maybe on that one. Maybe it's like a one-off stream game. Five, go up to six. And then we do this here. Like so. Like, don't get me wrong, city builders have their own moments to them. It's just not really my thing, you know? I need generally like a little bit more strategy to my to my games. Okay. I need more turbine placement locations. Before we soft lock ourselves. This one is just all aggro all day. This is a lot of snipers. We do this. This should give us the energy if left alone to handle things. Hmm. anymore that's fine stabilize that a little bit not that it's going to matter that much and then here <laughs> this sounds like a good support build i know right doesn't it slap you here and then i think we do mine and then two more mines is it yeah this is a very, very... This this gets soft-locked stupid fast if we don't... If nothing else happens. If nothing happens, but... As long as we keep up with the energy production, we'll be fine. This is so very slow. Yeah. How many snipers does it take to kill a cannon? Three. Fewer if they get a... a fewer if they're pre-firing, which happens a lot. You know, you know, put build suggestions in members chat. Yeah, either members chat or just like, or just general, general or something. Do you, you know where to find me? I'm always lurking around. All right, so I want this, and then from here we go. We escalate matters significantly by causing problems. this. I don't actually want to upgrade every sniper. Twelve snipers, yep. That's that's the uh <laughs> that's the support build. This is not actually this is 
shotguns are going to be a better solution, I can only imagine. I just... Feeling snipey today, you know? Gonna add extra turbines up here. Four turbines is pretty good. Uh, but for these, I can then, once this completes, we just let it do its thing. Alright, that was complete. Now we want a few AP snipers, like one, two, three. Uh, these lower snipers, I probably only want one and two here. Uh, I think more than that's going to cause some angle issues because I still want the snipers to be able to fire everywhere. Like these lower AP snipers cannot hit up here. So these two only can shoot this. These three can hit up here. Like this is the highest they can... Oh, can't be fired during recording. That actually looks like these bottom two can barely fire at top. Barely. So that's about all we want there, I think. And then we start doing this. A little bit more turbine production. And then we get another technology. By another technology, I mean this one. Just to make sure we're floating in energy. So remember, this base doesn't have to kill. It just has to cause problems. Get things scrappy. Looks like an AI script build. Yes, yes it is. Mines turbines upgraded. Generally speaking, you don't want to do upgrades if you can build more. Uh, so turbines, I will just build more. And mines, I'm not keen to do upgrades because the return on investment on that takes a couple minutes. And... Again, this one is just meant to cause problems. It's not meant to mass out eco things. This guy is the one that's going to be dealing damage, at least in this combo. We can always uh, change that around a bit. Probably will, but for the time being. I want a shotgun how do I want to handle this One shotgun right in the front. <laughs> Wait for it, just be snipers. And this one? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I should get upgraded rapidly. And that's about it, boys. Boys and gals. Uh, we got ourselves a support fort. Completing his build for like eight and a half minutes, nine minutes probably. Light Wolf will be joining a knobs tonight. Ooh, nice. Unfortunately, I will be occupied. Yeah, this has got full everything. Okay, so we'll just leave that here. And now, we go ahead and give that a test. Was that? No. No mods, map, favorite, tournament six, uh, observer, disable commander, and then enable the AI. I didn't, I didn't favor it. 
<laughs> Stop being occupied. I have work to do. Which is an unusual way to describe building an AI for forts. And see what happens. Hey, the frame one snipe. Worked well. Unfortunately, our support fort's going to be so many levels of uh, soft lot here. Uh, well, because it's it's in a one v two, so very much so the same situation as last time. Just a slightly, just it it had any amount of any amount of uh, firing back before getting bullied. Which was actually almost enough for Team 1 to take the lead. Because Team 1 got their Dord Snipers online before their lower fort got bullied out of the game. Which means Team 2 almost lost everything. I'll notice that this build has gone far, far faster. We'll see if it takes that uh, 19 and a half minutes. Snipers are breaking struts in the bottom. Yeah, but struts are incredibly cheap, so like, it really doesn't matter. At all. I didn't realize there's still a machine gunner here. <laughs> Did Top Sniper make it to actually 10 shots before getting door snipe? Something like that. It was pretty close. <laughs> Thoughts on rushing shotguns behind doors and not firing and slapping like three shotguns? Nah. That That is a thing that can be done, but the point of the lower base is to get shot. Okay, alright, so look look at what here. Look what happened here. Remember last time where it was this sucker was soft locked for like the first six minutes before it finally worked out of it? It's minute three and it's it's still in this in the process of expanding. Like this is leagues better than it was before. And with this guy actually rebuilding more often, there's fewer door sniping events happening here. Like, at least it's trading snipers. This guy doesn't even have full snipers up right now. This sucker can't afford it because he's been bullied hard enough. Like, this is... leagues better. Even if it's, you know, still fighting from behind. And by a lot. Remember, I'm not trying to beat mass snipers. I'm trying to not die to mass snipers. Like, that's... That's the strat. Don't die to mass snipers. This doesn't die to mass snipers. I want to... Think about it from a strategy point of view. I want to have the appropriate amount of expenditure to prevent me from dying to this. But I don't want to overspend on defending this specifically because this will not be the only thing I have to defend against. If I spend everything defending against this, then I die to everything else. So, 
my objective here is don't die to snipers. Spend the rest of my money on everything else. Will the AI target a hard world sniper? Yes. The whole sniper trading thing right now is a little bit much. Like, it really needs to break out of this. Move on to the next one. You bought taking damage on metal? Uh, I'm sure a few of its hits are. It's slightly angled, so a hefty chunk of them will just bounce off. Uh, but it's mostly taking hits on wood. It's just got wood in front of the. Uh, it's got wood in front of the metal here, so it's a very cheap repair cost. But yeah, you see how the, those shots are bouncing off the metal here for free. Oh come on! So what is this thing waiting on? It's got 300 metal, and it's not... I think it needs 500 metal to place the swarm missiles where it's going. That's what's happening here. And it's choosing to rebuild the sniper instead of save. So I think we need to get lucky here and save up 500... Save up 500 metal without getting a door snipe. Which, we're almost there, just not there. Wow, that sucker opened the door all the way. Well, we're not almost there anymore. Repairing metal on the bottom base is slowing it down. I don't think it's the metal being repaired that's slowing it down. I think there's something else going on here that's slowing it down. Hey, you got one. How long does that last? You just took three of them out. Jesus. Okay. Well, that was a surprisingly long trading spree. Would double doors make a difference? Nah. Do you need battlefield control from the top two snipers? Because you could just keep wood in front of the sniper until the nuke is placed. I could, but I, I do want the uh, map presence from the top two snipers. Otherwise, someone could just go rockets and get a high roll. Or, you know, buzz saws, or I don't know, get lucky with something. You need a couple snipers to keep people honest. Generally behind doors, you know, so you can, yourself can be honest and not just lose snipers to everything all the time. Otherwise, you get yourself in trouble. Uh, this is an unusual case, but I'm interested in seeing how it handles it because it's exciting to me. Very exciting to me. And I'm sure you guys can see why. So all we all we need is 500 metal to place this sucker down. We're not getting there. That makes me sad. Or it dies with it? What? Oh, that doesn't matter. Four dead snipers through the door closed again. Yeah, it, that happens. Sandbags cost energy? Yes, yes, they do cost energy. It's 300 energy, which is not much energy, but it is energy. Oh no. 
two sandbags in front of Gore. Uh, sandbags don't cover the entire distance. If I were to spend on sandbags in front of the core, that would be an option, but I seem to be getting killed by a lot of snipers. I mean, killed is a little bit dramatic for what's happening here. I just, I don't know what's sticking this AI up. It should just build the next thing, and I don't know why. I don't know why it isn't. Looks like Kronk's thingy isn't able to. Yes. No! Surely it was so close, it had saved up just shy of 500. Still trying to figure out uh, why is it not continuing the build? Something disconnected top of the mines? Yeah, it starts that way. Like surely, if it gets 500 metal, it just builds the next thing. And it's just electing not to save up for it, and instead rebuild the one sniper. Over and over and over and over again. But last time it just didn't build the snipers. It didn't rebuild the snipers. It just saved up the metal. It's so close. Just 50 away and 150 away. Oh, got it. Okay, well that'll that'll win the game. Like 100% of the time. Ah. And there you have it. <clears throat> Success. Then maybe this one will survive any amount of time. Which is, I'm curious to see how far this one gets along in its build order by the end of this. Because that's probably not going to happen at all. Like, at all. Only took six extra minutes. Yeah, last time by like the six minute mark, it managed to place the thing down. It just didn't care about rebuilding the sniper. It just placed this. It just placed the, the swarm missile and just moved on with its life. Hopefully it'll actually fire it. Well, it hasn't had issues actually firing it. It has had issues of getting, like, pre-fired door sniped. But it does usually fire the thing. It's got the metal and the energy to do so, so all it needs is a living sniper. Last time it needed the living sniper. Can we speed up the match? We cannot. Ah. <clears throat> <sighs> Did you got a mine first, maybe. I, I wanted to have. It, it's got. It's it's fine. It's it's even having getting constantly door sniped and constantly plinked away. It's it's still progressing. Money wise, just it's pretty close. Now it's going for the mine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got it. Alright. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Unfortunately, it's... Oh, there it goes. And that should... That should do it. That'll cause... Some pretty devastating damage. When both snipers down, it'll save up its money. <clears throat> and should immediately refire it once it's uh, back online. 
And they have six minutes remaining. Yeah, last time it wasn't close. Last time it was able to wipe out both bases. Alone, without this one's support at all. This time it just decided not to swarm missile for 12 minutes. Which is really rather unfortunate. Because the swarm missile actually does work. Last time I targeted this one over and over again and reduced it to nothing. <laughs> Not close. Well, it defeated the first one with... It defeated the first one with, uh... <clears throat> it defeated the first one with, um... How many minutes left was it? Like, four minutes left? And then just eventually waddled its way toward shooting the top one. We should get the second swarm launcher placed here in a moment. There it is. Yeah, like at this p last time, by this point, we already had one base destroyed with nukes. So this time it's just bullied a bit worse by virtue of deciding not to use this, of deciding not to swarm missile. Which is really rather unfortunate. See, the bottom base isn't really helping emotional support, maybe. It was helping at the beginning. Like, it almost... It almost helped. It almost got his map control. Almost. But, uh... It's not been the greatest of help since then. Right, we have two swarm missile launchers available. Don't have the energy to fire both right now. Or the snipers to paint the targets. Uh, we did manage to save up for the upgrade center. At this point, the Team 2 AIs have had a r real rough experience. Should be launching both swarms here immediately. Or none at all. Alright. Well, it's building turbines. Okay. It's at the turbine build phase. That's what it's 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 no longer shooting things. That's understandable. to fire the nukes, which haven't been upgraded yet. <clears throat> the reason I'm getting turbines now is to make sure that we're net positive when this thing constantly fires its swarm missiles, which it has elected not to do fairly consistently, which is really rather unfortunate. Not even nukes on the field by the 19 minute mark. Alright, you have a good one, Andromeda. Good luck out there. Please fire the swarms. You have the metal and the energy to fire both. 
I mean, you also have the energy and metal to upgrade them, so, like, that works, too. <clears throat> hey! We, we got a firing! It did it! After all these years... Alright, so now we just gotta fire the nukes. <laughs> You're still seeing both bases at infinite energy and metal starved. Look, that's that's on their own that's that's on them for electing to not use their weapons. Like that they've sat there with weapons to use for a very long time. Does this make any gutters? At the end of its build, yeah, but not when it's meaningful. So no. Use your weapons. It's been 21 minutes. Use your weapons. Use your snipers for more than sniping. Just launch the missiles. Got the resources. Launch the missiles. Do it? It's not doing it. It refuses to do it. The thing refuses to use its weapons. It just fired twice and I swear. Oh my god. It had four weapons available. It decided to use two snipers and zero, zero nukes. Please. Fire! Fire! Uh, what did you spend on? Spend on a metal piece instead of fire. It could do both. It, it fired. It fired. There's a chance this doesn't make it across the field. Okay. 22.45. We're fired a nuke. Why are these so inconsistent? <sighs> oh well. Needs more snipers to operate? More snipers is not going to solve the problem. Oh, yeah, those that nuke didn't make it very far. At least it fired it this time. Which is nice. Should make you get weapons faster and get terrible. The the first thing it does is build weapons. Like we we got weapons before turbines and batteries. That's kind of the point. It just didn't want to use them. Which is, you know, sometimes it happens. We didn't have this issue last time. We haven't changed the AI since last time. Probably have to do it a third. I'm gonna have to do this a third time to see how this thing reacts just so I can get some insight into the AI and its behavior patterns. Like, the reason we have the turbines upgrading is because it was energy starved. Because it was firing so much. And now it's just not doing it at all. Yeah, 
it's 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 machine gunner time, which is a problem because it's going to spend it on machine gunners instead of firing its weapons apparently. Could make left team go against itself. Yes, yes, I could. Yeah, look, we got machine gunners, which is bad. It's actively hurting us at this point. We may have just been soft locked here. Did this rebuild background? Oh no, it rebuilt background bracing and not a door, so now this is just permanently exposed. How did you get a background bracing there? I just built that so that it would have a door and never background bracing. Why? Oh no, we're soft locked. So we'll always build that before the sniper. Well, that's infuriating. I went for a door. Then why did it build a, sa a background bracing if it didn't have money for the door? Okay, well, that's infuriating. So we're going to do this same one one more time to see what on... Why it was so... I can't even say uncommonly dumb. Because, yeah, you know, it, it seems to be fairly unreasonable. So we've already got snipers on the field. Obviously, uh, we don't match up quite well. So this is going to be one-sided. Uh... Please open the door, thank you. One thing that really messes this up is the, uh, I mistimed the, the door opening. Which leads this sniper to be locked behind a door for a very long time. Which means it can't help with suppression. Good god, that was three snipers destroyed? It in the fraction of a second. Like, we almost had map control over the lower base. Or we almost beat the lower base into submission here. It only had three snipers remaining. <laughs> the gunners seem more like a liability than actually helpful. Yes. That's usually the case, and often why you just never build machine gunners. It's just, it isn't worth it. <laughs> just use snipers as AA? Can you imagine? Alright, we are building forward. Getting it ready for things. We've got the tech placed. We've got both snipers active. Their bottom base is metal starved. My top base is metal starved. the RNG. Alright, so now we're literally just waiting on swarm missile placement. And that's it. What if that really help is a uh, small delay before replacing the snipers. I mean, in this specific situation, yes. 
Usually, no. This is not the normal situation, nor do I intend to uh, build a around this situation. I'd go so far as to say it's a mistake to build around this situation. So now we wait. Do you do it? Could you have a small delay before the first swarm is placed? Could you have the small delay before the first swarm? I don't understand. You mean add a small delay in the... Uh, no. No, you can't, Greg. That is not an option. Two or three more snipers down. What's the point of pitting your AI against the sniper tower of God AI? Mostly so it has sub pressure to be against. The sniper tower is not particularly threatening, uh, but it does keep the. It does a good job of keeping the AI honest. Like if I have situations where I leave weapons exposed or create vulnerabilities, uh, the sniper spam AI will find them. This is a fairly. I'm not going to say standard, but common test. Just to see if you do something wrong. Because in a real match, the AIs will have a, a, a couple of snipers available. Not, you know, this many, but a couple of snipers. And if you have a vulnerability, a couple of snipers can snake their way through finding it. Not always. But if you have the blunt force trauma of mass snipers, or, you know, something akin to it, then it will almost always find the vulnerability. I've just... Um, experiencing the side effects of mass snipers. Something that isn't typically as dangerous. Yeah, so we still haven't built this swarm yet, which is a problem. Pretty big problem. Like, a pretty big problem. several shots in a row. <laughs> Top base spending all of its metal replacing snipers. Yep. So is bottom base. Bottom base ran out of energy on team two. Had to stop firing for a moment. Got real quiet. Hey, it got the swarm. Seven and a half minutes. As opposed to, you know, twelve and a half. That's closer to what we saw last time. As long as it actually fires it this time, we should see real progress here. issues. Mm -hmm. 
Mhm. So it will have the opportunity to fire when this sniper completes. Does it do so? And... No. No, it doesn't. That's unfortunate. Oh! It fired! <gasps> well, that's gonna help. Good job. It's not off reload yet. So last, so not last time, but the time before last, we almost took map control at this point. Almost. We fired it again. It's amazing. It's using its weapons. Oh, oh that feels good. So many snipers destroyed. It's going to instantly build all of them at the same time. There it goes. Alright, and we did get door sniped anyways, but we will be able to refire once more. Do it. Do it. Fire it. Okay, there we go. Good. If that slams into it like last time, which it's not going to do. Not quite as much damage as last time. But it's still going to leave it out of metals. So snipers that are shot will not be immediately replaced. Which is good. We are in the process of regaining map control. Oh, did you? Yeah, you got counter sniped. Okay. And we got the mine almost finished up. Okay. Will the AI rebuild batteries if they go boom? Yes. Yes, they will. Maybe we'll see some action from bottom base this time. Fat chance. Alright. Please fire. You've had opportunities to fire. There you go. It's something. And that is a lot of sewer missiles getting shot down by snipers. We have progress. How long do the second one gets placed? Right about now. Almost now. Come on. Come on. And second swarm missile. Beautiful. Okay. If we can fairly reliably fire both of these swarm missiles, this game will rapidly go into the favor of Team 1. Rapidly. Fire the swarm. Thank you. an acceptable target. Took out, what, four snipers and a machine gunner? Looks like the reason it doesn't fire is lack of income. Yes and no. Uh, it does. Sometimes it can't fire because of lack of metal. Right now it can fire. It has elected not to. It could have fired there. It didn't want to. Uh, it chose to use the sniper instead. And in doing so... Uh, opened the door to fire and died. Same situation there. It could have fired and didn't want to. Same exact thing. There, but you see, that one decided to fire. That one's good. It's good to get some damage done. Could do it immediately again because we have second swarm missile launcher available. Didn't fire? Didn't fire? Actually, that one it couldn't fire because it built this instead. That one's fire. That one's fine. Understandable. Now it's firing. Okay. So it is. Reliably isn't the appropriate word. But. 
Um, it is it is using it, which is a good start. A good start. Very good start. Okay. Did both. Good. Do some damage. Man. Imagine if the core got exposed. That'd be hilarious. What is the bottom base doing? Dying, mostly. That door was open for so long. Sadness. Okay. It didn't even shoot the sniper, it just opened the door and insta died. Is there a way to order the snipers to not shoot but provide spotting? No. Nope. Imagine if we broke this mine. It'd be devastating at the bottom base. I don't know how this sniper just survived that last experience. It had the door fully open. You see, it fired the swarm missile first, and then struggled to fire the sniper. It tried to shoot up here and then down here. Neither of which had vision of. It failed. We do have a nuke available, or upgrading, in the process of. Good job. Okay. Mm -hmm. To your nukes. Saving up a lot of metals now. We've reduced the volume of sniper fire. Four minutes remaining. So many shots just going straight to the core. I wonder how flak would work very poorly. Alright, so. We should see this nuke fire. Unless we lose both snipers, never mind. Alright. So this one should fire a nuke just immediately upon completion, unless this is going to build first, which it might. Well, that's rough timing. Okay. There's no way, because it's going to... Alright, so we're not near firing the nuke yet. Not quite. You have a fix to make the AI fire like 2x more. I don't doubt it, although that would change things. Oh no, so close. I'm looking forward to that one, Alex, that's for sure. can fire the nuke. What did you spend? Oh, the metal. The metal bracing. Right before... Right before ability to fire the nuke. 
Come on, fire the nuke, fire the nuke, fire the nuke, fire. They could have fired. This game could have been over. Hey! Oh, I did it! Alright. Does it make it across? Yes. So that's the sound of victory. Oh, that is deformed enough to break the AI. Might have. We did it! So that's two out of three. Fire the nuke. Fire the nuke. Well, oh, the sniper's rebuild is understandable. If you well in the snipers, does the AI know how to remove the walls of fire? No. Nope. We hit the 20 minute mark, we had core damage, that counts as a victory, even if it's a disappointing one. If you think the AI is aimbotting, oh no. Why is it upgrading turbines? Uh, it's because it can. Because I told it to. If it has nothing else to do, it upgrades the turbines. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it's doing that overshooting, which... Not terribly unexpected. It's going to build the machine gunners now, which just has a chance. See, I, I specifically did it this way so I never built a background bracing here, so it never builds a background bracing. I'm not surprised to see that happen because it builds this before it builds the, uh, the door. But when this finishes, it should not be replaced by background bracing. Very specifically, not replaced by background bracing. And yet it replaces with background bracing, guaranteeing that it gets soft locked. Alright, well, um, I guess that's a that's something I have learned about the AI. I don't... I specifically built it that way because last time, because I was testing it, it didn't work that way. But... Mm, Alright, so I'm going to have to keep that one in mind. That's a... That's a concern. Like, a pretty dramatic concern, actually. Um... Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Yikes. Well, that's the point of the stream, to learn about things, yeah? And the things we have learned is that it's a bit of a mess. We do it to a Tony, so I don't just, no, not that. The, uh, the doors can actually get pretty small. Like, real small. Sniper go brr. Yeah, they do. <sighs> I am disappointed. Greatly disappointed. Oh, well. I was just gonna delete the AI anyways, so... That's how that's going to be. This one goes into the trash. Anyways, what I am going to do is I am going to go enjoy the free AC. And we are going to go... Uh, we're going to go 
say hello to a friend of mine. Uh, he's playing Dune Spice Wars because Dune Spice Wars is a game I've that just got a new update. I've been playing a bit of it. So for everyone else who is on YouTube, I will catch you guys later. Make sure to say hello to my friend Kilpo over here. He does grand and glorious things. I can only imagine the... Uh, it's probably getting ganked pretty hard because that happens every time. But for now, have a good one, everyone. And I'll see you guys later. After we watch his reaction. Because that's how we do. He's going for a hegemony win con, is he? As Fremen? Oh, yeah, as Fremen for sure. Yeah, that's a terrible time to be. Essentially what we're saying is Atreides has won the game. Yeah, that sounds about right. Not being in the lead at one. Well. And the, the, the problem is we don't have like, enough military to be like on three fronts at once. And now, so, because our hegemony is entirely tied with taking territory, we have just lost the game. There's nothing we can do anymore. That sounds about right. But have a good one, everyone.